press the start button. <laughs> yeah, we know. We learned. Yes, we pressed the start button this guy time, guys. We've learned. We've learned our lesson. I promise. Barely started the stream and you're already bullying us. They're yelling at us! <laughs> mean. They're a minute late. Hey, Ooh. hey, it is 8.01. We have done the best this time. You should be rewarding us. Thank you. That is all. Scoot it. Oh, nope. Nope. Scoot this way. And too much. And this way. Ah! 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 Okay, scoot over. Ah! What's up, guys? I'm, uh, if you're new here, I'm so sorry in advance. Uh, welcome to the stream. Already people are like, guys, 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 guys. God. So this is not 18 and up. That was Nikki's choice, not mine. Well, because uh, the fan fictions we're reading are particularly um, raunchy. <laughs> Here, I'm going to turn that. That doesn't mean that what I say. Well, I mean... I don't, I don't think anything happening is going to be 18 plus, yeah. so. That's what you think. PG-13. Oh yeah, we've got to slow down the comments. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. Someday we'll learn how to do anything. Yeah, really though. Live chat. Enable slow. Wait, check that one. What? Yes, 300 <laughs> save. There. Now, once slow mode is enabled, I will be able to read your lovely comments. But while we wait for some more gremlins to join us, um, if you didn't read. Because we're not title, late this time! We're, we're not, not late! late. Rude. Rude! Um, so in case you didn't notice by the title, we're doing a My Hero Twilight crossover stream because we talked about it in the last stream. And here we are. We let every um, the cosplayer tier right up on the Gucci Gremlin Squad, my patron, Patreon. <laughs> to vote on if they wanted Bakugo and Deku in the Twilight attire, or if they wanted Edward and Bella in the UA uniform. Because we have so many fan fictions, we're going to be doing Edward and Bella tomorrow night, so you guys get two streams this week. We also just really wanted to cosplay Edward and Bella, so. <laughs> but everybody voted for Deku and Bakugo, here we are. So here we are. We have some great Twilight crossover fics we're gonna read. We have some great, just like, My Hero crack fic we're gonna read and answer some questions and stuff like that in between and for the most part it'll be in character and yeah i'm also a bakugo fan really yes you <laughs> yes somebody said so in the comments and i agree twilight is someone's favorite book and movies I'm so sorry, guys, that we have wow, to put on slow mode, pressed... but otherwise it's just too much. But Someone's like, wow, we pressed start this time. Uh, guys... We're figuring it out. Third time's the charm. Just now started this stream and you guys are already bullying me. I know I messed up. They're all brutal. Brutal every single time. Okay, maybe the slow mo doesn't have to be that slow. What? I don't know. It just seems like particularly slow tonight. We'll change it. Seems a little about bit. the same. I'm I'm giving them a little chance to redeem themselves, because they can't send comments if if slow mo is on. Apparently, not necessarily. We're not married. Contrary to popular belief. But we could be. Edward Cullen is my dad if he gave birth to me. <laughs> That's Edward Cullen. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm um, Bakugo Cullen. And this is Azuku Swan. 
<laughs> Suku Swan. <laughs> Suku Swan. Uh, this is my Edward cosplay. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but... Uh, Looks this, exactly look like Bella's jacket. <laughs> it's the same jacket from the movies, so come at me, Twihards. You sure? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm a major Twilight fan, or was when I was in middle school. Why do you say it like you're sure? Like this looks like I mean, it's got dust on it because it's been in the closet for so long. I don't know. I believe you. It looks just like her. Yeah, movie. it does. What was happening? Uh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I don't know. So yes, I really like uh, Twilight. Or I did. Now Twilight's just a meme to me. But I love Charlie. Psh. Charlie's my favorite. Charlie's the best. Charlie's hot um, dad. Charlie is daddy. I love Charlie. And this is why you should have made it an 18 and not Charlie, Charlie. He is a dad. I mean, he is a dad. Yes. It depends Accurate. on how and how you take the, the, the comment. You can be dirty about it, or you can be, you know, like, Charlie is a daddy. <laughs> Nobody's taking it that way. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. I love him so much. He's so good. Everybody loves Charlie. Everyone loves Charlie. This is my, my TV show called, <laughs> called Everybody Loves Charlie. So the amount of Twilight fanfiction that you guys have been sending me or making for me is just... The amount of Twilight My Hero fanfiction. Yes. No Twilight fanfiction got sent at all. No, a Twilight fanfic did get sent. Oh, just one? Yes, it oh. is if it's where Jacob breaks his imprint on Renesme and imprints on Edward instead because the author believes that Edward and Jacob had more chemistry in the movies than Edward and Bella. I mean, that's kind of true. <laughs> I can agree with this. So I saved that one for tomorrow's stream. Yeah. So I like went through probably about like 50 fanfics and categorized them into like My Hero Twilight fanfics to where like it makes sense for Bakugo and Deku reading them and Twilight fanfics where it makes sense for Edward and Bella to read them. Which, more or less, Edward and Bella is just going to be like us, but we're going to be just dressed as Edward and Bella. Because their personalities are pretty bland. That wouldn't be a It would just be stream. us sitting here together. You would be breathing and biting your lip, and I would be like... <sighs> <sighs> that would be 18 plus, just because of the sounds. Yeah, it would be. It would be, definitely. Yes! I'm also a Ravenclaw. Thank you for noticing my cup. I was wondering how long it would take. I'm a Slytherin, but I, I swear I'm, I'm a Gryffindor. I, um, Bakugo is obviously a Gryffindor. Thank you for coming to my table. Yeah, yeah, I know. Izuku, I argue he could be Slytherin. Although but we would get sorted into the same house. Yeah. Because yes. Deku, I think he would be Slytherin, but he'd want to be in Gryffindor, so the sorting hat would listen to him. He would, he would watch Bakugo get sorted into Gryffindor and be like, not Slytherin, Gryffindor, 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 Gryffindor. Well, now you know what has to happen. Now we have to do a Harry Potter. Oh, we're going to do a Harry Potter Baku, Boku no Hero stream, obviously. Obviously. I feel like this is just making me look like I have boobs even though I have my binder on. It's just a feminine jacket. It is. It's got space for movies. Space even for when tatas. I, even when I have, have tatas on, I don't... It's odd being in, like, a button-down shirt for Bakugo. I don't know if I like this. I can't figure out... Does this look better? Mm-hmm. This is just... It's all girls' clothes, and I feel like it just really looks like girls' clothes today. I mean, it is all women's clothes. I guess that looks a bit better. Less... Less titty. So, if you guys haven't seen, um, oh, I did not propose. Thank you for the comment, though. Um, if you guys haven't seen Twilight, then you should go see Twilight. And yes, you can draw us. Everyone's welcome to draw us. Just show us what you draw if you want. Mm -hmm. we, like, we love fan art. Mm -hmm. Love seeing fan art. 
I was going to start reading some... Oh, there's... I was going to say, like, um, there's one really good fan... Uh, not fanfic. Uh, fan artist. Fan artist. Um, that does a lot of amazing art. Yes. They're very sweet Super and cute. nice. We've been talking to them a lot. They might be watching. Who knows? They probably are watching. Hi, BB. Um, I'm a snake boy. I'm a, I'm a snake. snake. I'm a slithery snake. What is that? Uh, it's... Evan, it's, what is this? Okay. We're not going to cosplay goth, emo, Jack Frost, and Elsa. I will let someone take my Elsa pictures and make edits like this to them. Oh, they're but saying, am I going to... they're like, I hate thinking of like three lesbian couples I know that look exactly like this pair. Oh, this yeah. is me and this is you. Why do I have a pink one with pink hair? Well, or, I have always or worn. Or this is me and this is you. Okay, you're not you? Jack Frost. How the hell? I'm obviously Jack Frost. Um. So shall we start reading some awful fan fiction? Uh, I, I think prefer so. spicy food. Although I do really like pickles and kimchi. I like both. Uh, I read the Twilight series like five times in middle school. Big mood. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I did. So, uh, yes. I made a bad Twilight comic for a school project and took it too far and then it got passed around the school and now I kind of want to make it into a live action series on my YouTube channel because this, it's stupid. This is a pretty good thumbnail though. Thank you! I'm impressed. I it worked like for Twilight like ten whole Twilight. Ten whole twilights. Ten whole twilights. Now we tell time in twilights. Um, welcome to the stream. We'll be here for... <laughs> 17 twilights. Uh, 17 twilights. I'm not Maybe really sure how long twilights. that is. Because we just made it up. But What does one twilight equal? Like 15 minutes? Two minutes? It took me about... Two minutes to make that. 15 twilights? Fifteen twilight. Um. Okay. Oh yeah, we're just getting right into this. Okay, I'm clicking on the first one that you sent me. Whatever it is. Here we go. It's called Twilight of Heroes. <laughs> so if, I don't know if any of you guys know what the hell we're doing right now. Um, if you weren't at the last stream, then clearly you're confused. So, just take it as it comes to you. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, like, but also, like, we tried to do an 18 up stream and it was just too wholesome. Everyone's like, what's the point of making it 18 plus? You guys were just cinnamon rolls the whole time. We said the word dick at some point. You can say the word dick. You can say, like, I don't think the, like, I don't think anatomy is a dirty word. Why? That, but we... does YouTube? Um, YouTube is going to be like, this is not suitable for some uh, advertisers. So oh, sorry. it already says that if you have fan fiction in the title. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. I literally got an email from YouTube that's like, hi, so advertisers are pulling revenue. If you want to actually maintain your living, promote staying inside. Just use the word stay inside. Stay home. Stay home. Stay home. This is, so uh, my new title for this live stream is Twilight Stay at Home. Someone Open wants us to explain what Twilight is about, and I feel like we owe that before going Okay, on I can agree with that. So <laughs> let me give you my, oh, I wonder if there's a spark notes I can just read on no, it. No, 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 okay. I'm pretty good at paraphrasing. So no, you're terrible at paraphrasing. I'm you didn't even of... read the whole books. I watched all the movies. <sighs> And we watched Twilight the other weekend, so I have it fresh in my mind. Twilight is about a basic ass hoe named Isabella Swan, but she goes by Bella because she's not like other girls. And her mom and her baseball boyfriend are moving out of Arizona. So they're like, Bella, you can stay with us or go yeet to your dad's house in Phoenix. I mean, Forks. And Phoenix. <laughs> she's already in Phoenix. So Bella's like, I guess I'll go hang out with my dad because I haven't seen him since I was like eight. And her dad's like, I'm a lonely dilf and I would love for you to hang out with me. <laughs> so uh, Bedward, Bedward. Bedward! <laughs> so, <laughs> so Bella's like, I'm going to go hang out with my dad in Forks, but I hate Forks. 
But I guess that's better than hanging out with a professional baseball player and my mom. So she goes to Forks and kind of hates it, but then she meets this guy that's being a dick. His name is Edward Cullen, and Anna Kendrick thinks he's hot, but he doesn't think Anna Kendrick's hot. And everyone in this movie looks 25, except for Kristen Stewart. Because she's but actually then, 18. She kind of, she's she looks like 17. Like, they all look too old to be in high school. Anyways. Um, so I'm an actual <laughs> high schooler. I'm an actual high schooler. So when I was in high school, I looked like I got hit by a car. We're getting to that soon. I'm an <laughs> adult, and I still look like I belong in high school. <laughs> yeah. I, got, I got a message from someone that's like, you're a minor. You need to be careful about what you're doing online. And I was like, actually... Jokes on you. Jokes on you. I haven't been a minor, a minor. in too long. <laughs> um, so she meets this guy Edward. He sits next to her in class. He thinks she smells bad, and she's just like, "What's he's your just deal?" Like, and she's like, <sighs> and so she's just like, "What the fuck is up, Kyle?" Mm -hmm. And Kyle Edward is like, and so and he leaves for a week. Yeah. He so he, so he leaves. So. Bedward, why don't you call Bella and Bedward? <laughs> because you have problems. That's their ship name, Bedward. <laughs> so, so Bella is like, <laughs> you guys' comments are really funny. Um, so, Bella's just like, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't mind forks. My dad's pretty cool. Charlie's like number one dad. He's trying to get to know her. And so Edward comes back and he's like Spongebob in that one episode where he's like, hi, how are you? <laughs> That's exactly what he's like. Yes. yes. He's like, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Lovely weather we're having. <laughs> Literally. It's like are you talking to me about the weather right now? Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> no, that's actually Spongebob. He says yeah. the lovely weather we're having. Yeah, I know. And then Edward says it in Twilight. I know. It, Which I know. one came yes. first? Who ripped off who? He's talking. He talks about the rain. He doesn't say lovely weather we're having. Whatever. So she's like, I don't like any cold, wet, wet thing. thing. I don't really like those. And then Edward's like, then you'll hate my tongue. Um, <laughs> so then... <laughs> And they win the golden onion. <laughs> they win the golden onion. You're getting too detailed in your Sparknotes version of Twilight. It's just all very important information. And then they talk in the hallway. And, and, and she's he, like, your eyes have changed color. Are you a cosplayer? And he's like, no, it's the fluorescence. <laughs> and then he just walks away. And then so Bella's jamming out to Paramore in the parking lot and almost gets hit by a car. But she doesn't because Super Edward's there. And, do, 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 do. and she's just like, how did you get over here so fast? I, I love how, like, he literally stopped the car with his bare hands and she wants to know why he got over to her so fast. Not, how did you not stop, like, stop us both from dying? She's not concerned about the fact that he just went, Koof! to a car. But, yeah, so then Bella gets taken to the emergency room and Charlie's like, I'm gonna suspend whoever's license tried to run over my daughter. And Bella's like, it's fine, Dad. And so then she goes out in the hallway. But and you Edward's, forgot Carlisle walks in as the Delphi is. And Carl he's <laughs> Carlisle's just like, it's fine. No concussion. Charlie, no lawsuits in my hospital. Um, and so... Bella is in the hallway for some reason and she eavesdrops on the Colin's conversation to where they're just like, she's a liability and ever Bella's like, oh no, I'm gonna get sued. And so she asks, I'm gonna get sued! That's what's going through her head. Totally, totally, yeah. And so um, Bella's like, Edward, we need to have a conversation. And Edward's like, listen, I only respond in haikus. This can only go so well. <laughs> and so Bella's like, I know you regretted saving me. And Edward's just like, fluorescent lights. I will never tell you my secret. I'm gaslighting you. Goodbye. And so Bella then does something. And she goes to the beach. She goes to the books. Well, no, she goes to the beach. Yes. So like, 
she slowly... No, 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 no. Bookstore first. So she goes to get a cool no. book. No. Beach first and then bookstore. See, I had it. Beach first. She goes to the beach. So she's Jacob. Jacob's like, hey, what's up? The Cullens don't go here. And Bella's like, why? And Jacob's like, well, you see, I so thirsty for you. This entire <laughs> family is afraid of me. restraining order against the whole Cullen family. <laughs> they can't encroach on my thirst for your cracker ass. And Bella's like, thanks, I'll take this information. I'm going to go to a bookstore now and, uh, you know, find out some things about Mr. Yes. Edward. So all the guys at Forks High School are hitting on Bella because she's this shiny new toy, as Anna Kendrick puts it. Anna Kendrick low-key hates Kristen Stewart throughout this entire movie, but still it's invites her. Toy. Yes, but still invites her to go prom dress shopping. Yeah. So her and Ned's declassified girlfriend go <laughs> go shopping, and Bella's just like staring at the rain, disassociating, thinking about Native American legend books, as one does, and um, is like, "Yeah, you guys ain't shit. Your tits look good in that." dress. I'm gonna go some find some books now because I'm introverted. And so she goes to get her book and she's just like, I'm not like other girls. I'm gonna cut through this alleyway. And then there's suddenly She doesn't men. even cut through the alleyway. She just sees the men being like, hey lady! Hey so lady! Hey lady! So, so there's these guys that are like, hey little mama, let me whisper in your ear. And she's just like, I don't like whispering, and they're like, well, we're gonna whisper anyways, and Edward Cullen arrives in his shiny new <laughs> Volvo, and is like, she said she didn't want whispers, and so... And then they go get dinner together afterwards. So Edward drives... They touch hands. Shh, I'm not, I'm telling them. You're getting really I'm detailed. I'm telling the story. It's like 30 minutes of the Twilight Listen, movie. listen. So okay. they, they drive to Canada, and Edward's like, I guess I should feed you. So she shows up to the Italian restaurant, and Anna Kendrick and Ned's declassified girlfriend are like, where the fuck have you been? Oh, you arrived an hour late with Edward Cullen. Wow. Wow. And so they eat ravioli. Well, Bella does, because Edward's on a diet. Um, and so Edward's just like, do you know what I am? And she's like, I, I don't know, do I? And he's like, I'm going to tell you the thoughts of everyone in this restaurant. And Bella's like, I didn't ask you to do that, but what else am I going to do? Sex, 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 cats. cats. <laughs> Sexy cats. Sex, money, sex, cats. cats. That's what it is. Cats sitting on money. Having sex. Having <laughs> sex. Um, so Bella's like, that's cool. And so they drive back and they touch hands and Bella's like, wow, you're cold as shit. And Edward's like, yeah, it's the fluorescence. And then <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps bringing up the fluorescence. That's what happens. Yes. Um, yes. And so then they see that there's police cars at Charlie's police station, but they have the lights on and that means something bad happened. And Bella's like, that's my dad's car. And Edward's like, that's, that's my, my dad's, dad's car. car. And they're both like, cats. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing here? And so they are like, what happened? And Charlie and the Carlisle? Van Carmen. Carlisle's my favorite. Carmax are like, it was an animal attack, but it was a vampire. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. And so stuff happens. Edward and Bella decide to go into the woods during school. And, oh wait, uh, Bella has just like the random idea to Google vampires. And she's just like, T -t 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 like. She finds the word cold one in the book that she got from the bookstore. And then she Googles the word cold one and the word vampire comes up. Yeah, so she's just like, oh man, he's not Superman at all. He's just a fucking vampire, bitch. Yeah, she, he's what not What the Superman. fuck? And so... I guess Edward has, can like sense that she's knows what's going on. And he's like, let's go hang out in the woods before school. And she's like, okay, I think you're like a vampire. Let's just go be alone in the woods. You won't hurt me. And so they awkwardly stand in the woods and he's just like, say it. Say it. What am I? And she's like, you're a vampire. And he's like, yeah, and what do vampires eat? And she's just like, 
not me. And he's like, <laughs> it's like bet. He's like, bet. And so he's just like, I can throw trees. And then he yeets her up the mountain and is like, I sparkle in the sunlight. And she's like, that's gay. And then they hang out because they decide they can date now and they can be friends. And then Bella meets the family. The family doesn't like her. Because Rosalie turns crushes to... a bull with her bare hands. Bella's not gloves. Italian. And so then they eventually go and have a baseball match. But then the cool indie vampire band shows up. And the temperamental blonde one is like, I like to kill people. He's not temperamental and blonde. He's a psycho killer. So the psychopath blonde one is like, I'm going to kill like, your girlfriend. Murder. That's what he does. And Edward's like, I had a ridiculous... He's like, he's like, I was protective. And the psychopath thinks that's hot. So now he's going to come after you and maybe murder you and your entire family in the process. And Bella's like, I didn't sign up for this when I said I wanted to make out in the woods. And so they have to uh, hide her. And so she's a dick to Charlie and says what her mom said when her and Charlie broke up. And it hurt my feelings so bad because I'm like, this is awful. Charlie has done so much for you. He put chains on your tires. He's made sure you're okay. He takes you out for dinner. He doesn't make fun of you for shaking the ketchup bottle like that. He introduced you to crackhead Santa. <laughs> but, crack Santa. <laughs> but crack Santa dies at some point. That's the guy who's dead. <laughs> crackhead Santa. Crackhead Santa. <laughs> Edward's like, all right, we're gonna go on a trip in my favorite rocket ship. Come on, from an evil vampire guy. And so yeah. she goes down to a hotel, and Alice is disassociating and drawing shit, much like I did in high school. And is like, I thought of this studio, and Bella's like, well, that's where I had ballet lessons. And they're like, whoa, that's crazy, yo. And then she gets a phone call from angry from, murder blonde guy, from angry not Bakugo. From, from not Bach ago, and he's like, I found your own videos. <laughs> Come to the ballet studio. Come to the ballet studio, or I'm going to kill your mom. And Bella's like, don't want that. So she goes to the ballet studio, gets beat up. The Twilight group shows up, and they're like, don't kill Bella. We're going to kill you. And so they have a and vampire. And they brutally murder him. They destroy they the start ballet. They fire. They destroy the ballet studio. They break so many mirrors. They all have like so many years of bad luck. But I guess it doesn't matter when you're a vampire. Um, <laughs> I feel so bad for the ballet studio owner when, when they come in. The next morning to see it destroyed. It's just going to be burned <laughs> to the ground. They probably just let it burn to the ground. <laughs> Yeah, because they started a massive bonfire. <laughs> this is such a funny show. Uh, and so Bill wakes up in the hospital, and and she's like, she's like, what happened? And Edward's like, oh, her mom's like, Edward's such a good boyfriend. He tried to help you, but you fell you down, down twelve stairs. flights of stairs and out a window. And through a window. <laughs> you poor baby. And she's like, huh? <laughs> And then, <laughs> that's my Kristen Stewart impression. And then Edward's like, I can't hurt you anymore. You're going to stay with your mother. And Bella's like, no, I can't. And that's what it is. And so she's, she's like, she's like, I'm going to hyperventilate until you say no. And he's like, okay, I guess we can date. And then they go back to Forks and... They go to prom, and Edward acts like he's going to make her into a vampire, but he doesn't. And then they... Yeah. And then yeah. Victoria, like, plots is... their demise. And walks sure. Away. That's what happens. And then the rest of the movie franchise is Edward, Bella being like, make me into a vampire. And Edward being like, no. And Jacob being like, Bella, I want you so bad. And Bella being like, I don't know. And then Edward being like, I'm leaving you. And Bella being like, no. And Jacob being like, yes. And then Bella being sad. And then Jacob being like, I have your shoulder to cry. And Edward crying in Italy, realizing that the word Bella is used to describe pretty. And I just need a montage of him screaming every time he hears someone say Bella because 
Yes. Bella, Bella, Bella. And then, and then Alice is like, Bella, we saw that you died. And Bella's like, no, I just thought cliff diving would be a fun thing to do without any problems. And they steal equipment. a yellow Corvette together and they run through Italy. And, and then, then they, Italy's like, whoa, what the fuck? Where are your passports? And then Bella's like running through Italy and then like globs Seb- Sebastian. Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly black. No. Um and so then then they're at the vampire um club and <laughs> he he man is like oh, Bella Oh cool you I'll let you live Bella and you're gonna have to make her into a vampire uh, oh, wait. A Zifriel is like yeah. oh your girlfriend to become a vampire and Edward's like no and he's like well then I guess I'll eat her and he's like I guess I'll make her into a vampire and Bella's like fucking yes fucking live gonna become a vampire vampire. thanks (laughs) Ezekiel um and then in the third movie I don't know what happens oh it's just Bella's really thirsty and is like I want to do the devil's tango and (laughs) And Edward's like, the devil's tango! And Edward's like, I'm a virgin. And Bella's like, I am too, but that isn't stopping me. And Edward's like, I'm a good Christian boy. And Bella's like, I don't care. And he's like, ah. And Jacob's like, I'm ready. And Bella's like, I don't know if I am. And so then they share a tent and have a lot of anger in the tent. They're in the angry friendship tent. It's like the get along chair, but it's a tent. And no one gets along. And so... Then the red-haired chick is just like, I'm going to kill Bella. I made an entire rogue army. And everyone's like, no. And then she dies, I think. And then they have a baby. And Jacob's like, I wasn't in love with you, Bella. I was in love with your unborn baby. And And then then, somebody calls the Volturi. Oh, and then Bella Bella dies and then wakes up a vampire. And she's like, being a vampire is amazing. I love my immortal family. Jacob, you nicknamed my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster. I'm going to kill you. And she does it, but Edward's just like, I might let her do it, though. <laughs> so Nikki and I rewatched, or Nikki watched all of the Twilight movies for the first time not too long ago. And that's I watched them for the first time. Yes. Um, and then, I have watched these since I was in middle school, so. Yes. There's no stopping me. So that's what Twilight's about. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Devil's Tank. Devil's Tank. If any of you guys great. know the YouTuber, I'm right. You forgot the wedding. That. Oh, yeah. They have, they a, have a really nice wedding. Really nice Would wedding. actually love for my wedding to look like that. I wouldn't be mad. Yeah, that'd be okay. So now that you don't need to watch Twilight, we can get on with these fan fictions after I get myself another drink. Apple juice. It's not apple juice. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, I don't like the whole Jacob and Renesme thing. I was like, that's a baby. That's weird. I don't like that. Okay, we're about to read the fan fiction. Just a lot of people were like, what's Twilight? And I'm just like, here it is. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. No, Nikki is never okay. I'm gonna turn down the brightness on the... On this though. Set the mood. Oh yeah, that's like a nice <clears throat> Uh oh, pink lemonade is back. No, don't make fun of my lemonade. Don't make fun of my croissant. That's my croissant. I'm so glad you guys like my Twilight paraphrasing. Oh no, the computer isn't plugged in. <laughs> Haha, I have saved the stream. You're welcome. Ooh, tastes like cough syrup. Your water? Yeah, my water tastes like cough syrup. We're keeping it in the Ravenclaw for now. Oh, hey, you plugged in your computer. Yes. Smart stuff. Yeah, I was about to die. Wow, that would have been bad. Yes. I'm so glad you remembered. You do know that there's a port open over there, right? I didn't, I just... I just plugged it in, man. I'm just trying to... I just plugged it in, man. 
I'm just, I just, I just plugged it I'm in. I'm just trying to I just, I just plugged it in, man. I just, just, just you're just in. arguing like you always do. It's rude. Listen. Kachan colon. Kotsky colon. <sighs> Kotsky colon. Kotsky, because yeah, that's his first name. Kotsky. Yeah, I, I Kotsky also wrote colon. Bakugo colon, but I was like, no. It is, is Kotsky colon. <clears throat> okay. Now that the mood has been set. <laughs> well, well, it's time for some fan fictions. <laughs> okay. I've got to bring the voice out of it. <clears throat> um, wait, hold on a second. That's actual fanfiction I'm currently reading. What fanfiction are you currently it's reading? some Hannibal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love Hannibal, okay? Okay? Uh, Rachel underestimated how drunk she had to be for this stream. Mm -hmm. I am not even tipsy yet. Um, okay. Twilight Heroes, this is called. Here we go. Who's it written by? We need to Bee Chan and T Chan. Mm -hmm. Like bees bzz, and T. What's the T, sis? What's the T? Um, what if your beloved Bokuno Hero Academia characters are actually vampires and werewolves? Ooh, that's what happens in this story when Azuka Midoriya, a not so regular human, moves in with his dad in Fuko Hokkaido, Japan. I'm not all that good at summaries, but this is basically Boku no Hero Academia, but as Twilight. Beautiful. It is rated T. For teens. <laughs> <laughs> rated T for teens. <laughs> um, three chapters. Chapter one. Warning and disclaimer. This story is Shonen AI slash Yaoi. That means boy x boy don't like to read! Also, we don't own Boku no Hero Academia or Twilight. If we did, it would be a lot gayer. True. <laughs> Uh, please don't sue us for this. <laughs> if you're not an evil lawyer who's going to sue us, and if you like Yahweh, please enjoy. We will enjoy. We will enjoy. We're Excellent. just gonna read the first chapter so all the fan fictions get a chance. Um, are you- wait, you should definitely start with this one because it is Midoriya's POV. Okay. Midoriya had never thought much on how he would die. With how clumsy he was, he probably gonna fall down a flight of stairs <laughs> and out a window one day. <laughs> or as his mom had been going crazy about lately, he'd probably die getting shot on at the line of duty trying to stop a bank robbery or something. That's right, Midoriya wanted to be a police officer, just like his dad, Chief Toshinori, known by known by <gasps> All Might. All Might is Deku's dad in this! For his almost superhuman strength was probably the best police officer that Japan had ever seen. Chief Toshinori might only live in Fu Fugo? Fu Fugo? A small town in the snowy Hokkaido mountains, but he was often called on to help solve crimes in the bigger cities like Sap Sapporo. Sapporo? He was a hero, and Midoriya wanted to be a hero, too. <clears throat> Midoriya's mom always worried about her now ex-husband and her son. She couldn't stand the idea of Midoriya applying to the Tokyo Police Academy, where Inko had moved after the divorce. So that's why Midoriya had packed up all his things and moved north to live with his dad. It was sad. Midoriya didn't like the cold, and he really didn't want to be a hero in Tokyo. But Inko thought being a police officer in such a big city, with Yakuza and stuff, I love the Yakuza, um, was too dangerous. But Midoriya still really hated the cold. When his dad picked him up at the train station, Midoriya was wearing three coats! Three coats! Chief Toshinori hugged his son, and Midoriya hugged him back real tight. He missed his dad a lot. I bought you a card. You're not going to read the author's note? There's a lot of author's note. Okay. I bought you a card, Chief Toshinori informed Midoriya as they were driving to the chief's house. He sounded embarrassed, as if he could possibly be a bad thing to get your son in an actual uh, get your son an actual car. Really? Midoriya exclaimed. He had only had a bike in Tokyo. A car was so cool. That's so nice. Chief Toshinori is so nice. Yeah, the school is too far from the house, so you'll have to drive, his dad explained. Right, Midoriya suddenly remembered. Everything was super spread out in the country. No corner convenience stores or karaoke bars. Probably. Did he have, did he make the right decision? Did he move to, this sounds like America. Everything is really spread out. Yes, Midoriya told himself for the millionth time. This was the only way he could reach his dream without putting too much stress on his mom. The car ride from the train station to the house was a whole hour, but then Midoriya saw the car that his dad had bought him. It was a small, old, rusty red Honda pickup truck, probably from the 60s or something. I bought it off Mr. Ochako, 
He used it for construction work. You remember him? You and his daughter used to hang out sometimes. Yeah, Midori remembered that girl, but he forgot her name. She was sweet. Does that mean Ochako is going to be a a werewolf? werewolf? Maybe. Could be. She was sweet, but she was always following him around and saying they should get married one day. Ew, Midoriya never wanted to get married. Marriage only ended badly, like with his parents. But Midoriya did like the truck. It was retro, and Midoriya liked old stuff like that. Old stuff was cooler than whatever pop stuff other kids were getting into. Midoriya wasn't like other kids. <laughs> oh, he's not like other kids. He even got picked on a lot at school for, for being a nerd and stuff. But his parents were always good to him. He gave his dad another hug and took his stuff upstairs to go to bed. It had been a long day, and he was tired. He really hoped that school in the morning wouldn't be too miserable. Maybe he could actually make some friends? Should we keep going? I feel like we have to. He's going to school. The next Chapter day, 2. Chapter 2. The next day was just as cold as the first. If not colder, it was like sunshine was illegal here in Fugo. Midoriya would have to convince his dad to stop arresting the sun. In the meantime, Midoriya had to keep wearing three jackets. Three jackets! It was a long drive to the school, but thankfully not a whole hour. Most of the drive was through the mountain woods, and the school was out in the open fields, closer to the heart of Fuko. The scenery was nice, Midoriya supposed, but it was too green, like his hair. And maybe he'd accidentally camouflage into the woods and no one would see him. That sounded lonely. Sounds it was great. a good thing, then, that Midoriya always wore his bright red sneakers. Midoriya had to check in with the school front desk. And he was given his schedule and a map of the school. But not long after leaving the main office, he heard a familiar girl's voice behind him. Would you like to be... Is this, gonna, is this your Chaco? Okay. So. Midoriya-kun, no way! Midoriya-kun, is that you? Before Midoriya turned around, he was gone from behind. Ah! He shouted in alarm. The girl currently holding him prisoner giggled. Silly Midoriya-kun, it's just me! Midoriya turned around to see a round head of familiar brown hair. It was Mr. Ochako-san's daughter, but... Oh, but Midoriya couldn't remember her name. The brunette finally let Midoriya go with a squeak, and she blushed. She played with her hair and suddenly started acting all shy. Girls were so weird, Midoriya thought. It's good to see you again, she said shyly. You too, Midoriya said back politely. The girl got all giggly again. Well, I should be going to class now, Midoriya informed the girl. He was still trying to be polite. Uh, I'll walk you, she offered quickly. Midoriya couldn't convince her otherwise. He soon found himself stuck with her at his side all day. Then came lunchtime and the girl, what's her name? Invited Midoriya to <laughs> She sing. hasn't asked her her name yet. No, Midoriya, don't do she it. You're so loud. Don't do it, Midoriya. God, John, you're so loud. Uh, invited Midoriya to sit with her friends. Midoriya looked around the lunch hall for an escape. Most of the tables were full, except for one over by the vending machines. There was a purple-haired, tired-looking boy. He wore a dark leather jacket and didn't have any food in front of him. He looked like the kind of kid Midoriya hung out with at his old school, because social outcasts have to stick together, you know? Uh, so Shinsuo is Edward. Maybe. Uh, oh, I kind of want to meet new people, Midoriya stuttered. He pointed to the purple-haired boy. Like him. The brunette over looked over the boy, and she went wide-eyed. Oh, I wouldn't sit with him if I were you, she whispered, going a little pale. Why not? Midoriya questioned. Also going a bit pale, the girl looked around to make sure they weren't overheard by anyone. Well, she said very slowly, let's just say he's not the type who survived walking through a dark alley with- Ooh, he's a murderer! Shinsuo, what are you doing? Midoriya's eyes went wide. He realized there, there could be- He didn't realize there could be people like that in such a small town. In any case, Midoriya didn't think alleys even existed in Fuoko. By the time- But at the same time, when Midoriya looked again- as a purple-haired boy, the boy looked sad. Lonely. Oh, the so boy lonely. sat there playing a Nintendo. Maybe he just needs a friend, Midoriya suggested. The brunette girl looked at Midoriya like he was crazy. Okay, but if I were you, I'd carry some holer, that holy water with me just in case. That was a weird comment. But just before Midoriya could start making his way over to the purple-haired boy, people in the lunch hall started making a commotion. Midoriya looked around for the source and he saw a group of teens making their way in the cafeteria. All of the other students around the group started hollering and going up to get high fives or make hard eyes, and it wasn't hard to figure out why. These newcomers were really good looking. At the front of the group was the outgoing guys, a sharky redhead, a blonde guy. The Baku squad is uh, the Cullens. We don't know yet. That seems you, you, like I it. it was I Shinsuo. thought it was Shinsuo. I still think it's Shinsuo, but I'm not sure. Maybe Shinsuo is the um, werewolf. 
Um, a blonde guy with an interesting looking highlight to his hair and a dark haired guy flashing toothy grins at near hair, nearby girls. There was a girl on the arm of the redhead. She had bubblegum pink curly hair, large gold earrings, and was waving flirtily at some of the other students. The redhead didn't seem to mind. Behind the first floor was a smoking hot lesbian couple. These girls were yes. actually girls. One girl had an awesome punk rock look and the other like she drank only out of por porcelain teacups and walked Milan runways. Who are they? Midoriya asked the Ochako girl still standing next to him. Oh, them? Just the most popular kids in school, which is crazy because they're new here. Well, not as new as you, but their family moved here a couple months ago. But they're like celebrities. Got it, Midoriya thought to himself. So not the kind of people he'd hang around with. Call him a nerd or whatever, but Midoriya and popular kids do not mix. Popular kids were too well put together and leagues above Midoriya's obsessive note-taking habits and messy hair. But then the last member of, his, of this new group walked into the cafeteria. Instead of accepting high fives or telling jokes like the others in his group, the ashy blonde guy had his hand stuffed in his pocket and glared at everyone around him. Oh, Midoriya had never seen a popular kid who acted like that. The light... The light-haired blonde guy looked like a sore thumb sticking with the rest of the group. Target acquired. That guy was looking like Midoriya's new best friend. This is adorable. I love this. Okay, so Shinsuo is probably Jacob, but they go to the same school. And then obviously the Cullens are Baku Squad. And Baku go. Um, but not Baku Squad, actually. It's just... Kirishima, Mina, Jiro, and Yairozu. Yeah. And then Bakugo. It's Baku Squad with Baku Yairozu. Squad, but minus many of the Baku Squad members. A good portion of the Baku Squad. Oh, this fic was sent to us as a Google Doc, so I don't think you can find it anywhere. Um, Midoriya could have chapter three. Midoriya could have. Are we going to for chapter three too? This one's long. Yeah, this one is pretty long. We said we were oh, wait, no, okay, let's do chapter three, because there was, like, one line in there that Evan and I thought was funny. Did you already read all of these? Well, we were, we were skimming them to see, um, if they were appropriate. And I, I just happened to skim on one line, and I saw it lower than uh -huh. I Chapter three. Midoriya couldn't believe how lucky he was. After lunch was biology, one of Midoriya's favorite subjects, since Midoriya loved anything about science. And guess what? That popular grumpy blonde guy was in Midoriya's class. Oh, and this was probably going to be the best, best class of the year. Or at least, that's what Midoriya thought. When he walked into class, there was a big fan next to the door. Though, who in their right mind would run a, run a fan in this cold weather? Should right we... then, Midoriya was in front of the fan. He and the popular guy locked eyes. Dun, dun, and dun. then, it was the weirdest thing. The popular guy stiffened up, threw a hand over his face, and glared at Midoriya. Midoriya stared at him in confusion. Um, maybe he didn't hate him. Maybe he was just shy. Midoriya waved at him. The blonde guy gave him the middle finger. Yeah, he hates me. <laughs> See, now it's getting good. Good. Midoriya pouted and looked down at his converse with Sharpie All Might doodles on them. He drew them when he was alone in middle school. And he was the weirdo. That's right, he was an outcast. And he was determined to make friends with this guy. Midoriya looked up, met the strange blonde guy's eyes, and made his way towards him. The blonde guy's grimace grew as he tried to pull his head back as far as he could without moving, giving himself a double chin even. It even felt like there were only two people in the classroom. Midoriya's thought, thought process when it was interrupted by a rumbling from the window. It was a motorcycle pulling up to the school. On it was none other than the purple-haired loner with a leather jacket and glasses. Midoriya heard a student sneer, It's the purple-haired freak, Shinsuo. Another student chimed Shinsuo. in. A girl with brunette hair. Ugh, I hate that guy. The teacher adjusted his glasses. Yeah, let's see what the asshole's up to this time. The glass interrupted a, into a flurry as they made their way to the window, all except the blonde stranger. Midoriya made his way through the crowd of students. This long, interrupted paragraph is probably triggering your fight or flight. Izuku kept his eye on the goal. He tripped over a backpack and bumped into several shoulders before finally plopping down next to the blonde guy with a smile. He gasped for breath and offered his hand. Hi, I'm Asuka Midoriya. I just moved here. The blonde boy looked at his hand and the grin on the green-haired boy's face. When Midoriya was closer to the boy, he couldn't help but notice that the boy's eyes were pitch black. Like all pupil, no color. It was a bit spooky. But Midoriya was determined. He tried a different approach, his hand still out. Do you like video games? Or, or comic books? 
The blonde boy stared at him with a glare, then back to his hand, then back to his face. Midoriya waited in silence. The blonde boy breathed in. Fuck off! Biology class wasn't so much fun after that. In fact, school in general wasn't much fun. He still sat with Uraraka, he finally learned his name, her name at lunch, because she kept dragging him along everywhere. She hung out with a lot of giggly dumb girls like her. Midoriya didn't even learn their names. He just loaded up his lunch tray sadly with the standard cuisine, bento box, marble soda, and pocky for dessert. <laughs> While the other girls talked about cute anime boys or whatever, Midoriya munched on his rice ball. Around the same time as the day before, the cafeteria got excited. Midoriya looked up and saw the same popular kids doing the same, doing all the things that popular kids did. But then, that blonde kid didn't follow. He wasn't there at all. And then, later in biology class, the blonde still wasn't there. Oh, great, Midoriya thought miserably. He really blew it, and now the guy hated him so much he didn't come to school. It didn't help that the guy didn't come to school for three days. So much for Midoriya's plan to befriend the stranger. He had a lousy chance at this rate. So imagine Midoriya's surprise, sitting down and scribbling in his notebook for biology class. A gruff voice snapped at him. Eh? <laughs> Oi, nerd, move your bag so I can sit down. Midoriya jumped in his seat in shock. He looked up to see the blonde kid staring at him expectantly. You deaf, move your bag. Uh, oh, right, Midoriya stuttered and moved his bag off the chair next to him. The other boy sat down. The tension was thick in the air. Midoriya wanted to say something, maybe apologize for annoying he was the last time they met. Maybe ask the kid how he was doing? What if the boy was sick? You're muttering, nerd. Uh, oh, I am? Sorry. I, uh, yeah, I, I tend to do that. Midoriya glanced over at the boy who just stared right back, but then Midoriya noticed the boy's eyes weren't black anymore. Instead, his eyes were a beautiful golden color, like treasure off a pirate Ooh, ship glistening in the night. pirate ship treasure. The boy then rolled those beautiful eyes and stuck out a hand. Was this boy always this attractive? Midoriya didn't think he really noticed until now, the handsomeness had Midoriya's brain short circuit. Bakugo, wait, they changed his last name? Kar Karini? What? Karini? Is this like Cullen in Japanese? <laughs> I don't know. Bakugo Kotsky, that's what I'm gonna go for. What? That's my name, Bakugo Kotsky. Seriously, do you need to get your ears checked? Uh, oh, um, my name's Midoriya Izuku. It's nice to meet you, Bakugo Kotsky. He blushes as he fiddled with his finger, the blonde boy staring down at him, even with a slight tilt to his chin. Since we're friends now, Midoriya started softly. Bakugo interrupted him bluntly. We're not friends. Can I call you Kachan? Absolutely not. So Kachan, what do you like to do for fun? <laughs> what an asshole! <laughs> Midoriya continued as he turned to face his new buddy, Bakugo. His new buddy. Bakugo shrugged. Well, usually sit outside and avoid people, curse the dreaded light of the day star, day star, yep, and play video games, and most recently getting to know you during the times I'm not secretly watching you sleep. Sometimes I hang out and train with Kirishima, too. Midoriya stared at, it, stared at him in shock. He couldn't believe what he just heard. You! He swallowed a dry lump in his throat. You play video games, too? He felt warmth and blossom in his <laughs> not chest. Not even noticing Bakugo said he could block his in while he sleep. Uh... Bakugo noted as he stole food from Izuku's tray. Uh, what did I note? Oh, yeah, Legend of Zelda, same as you, according to all the game cases scattered on your bedroom floor. Izuku let out an exhale. How does he know this? He's such a creep! Wow! He had so much in common with his new friend. He started more confident. He started again more confidently. Which Zelda game is your favorite, Kachan? Bakugo stood up abruptly and grabbed his hand. Enough talk. Come follow me. Midoriya gathered his book bag eagerly and stood up. Oh, okay. Where are we going? To the woods, duh. Midoriya's brow furrowed in confusion. To the woods? Why? He asked, Bak he asked Bakugo put one hand in his pocket. I want to show you something cool. Midoriya looked at him. But three days ago when you told me to fuck off, I come to think of it. Why are you being so nice to me today? Not that. Midoriya quickly rushed to fix before ducking his head. That I'm complaining or anything. Bakugo rolled his eyes before speaking. Yeah, well, that was then, this is now. I don't know why, I just want to get to know you. Bakugo's gaze softened. We're gonna get to know each other! And he grabbed both of Izuku's hands. Just, just grab one. Well, what? Come with me. And you'll be in a world of pure imagination. No. Midoriya, right? 
No, I just feel... Oh, I 100% skipped a bunch. Okay. Um, I just feel drawn to you. Yes? Yes. You're not like the others around here. You're different. Less susceptible to fear. I can't get a read on you. You don't even lock your windows. <laughs> what a creeper! Izuku stared at the joined hands in shock. Bakugo finished in a soft whisper. Come with me. Um. Oh. Uh, Midoriya, right? They both turned their heads to the new voice. Oh, Pop that was somebody else. Uh, Midoriya, right? Oh There's a purple-haired kid. See, it keeps going! It it's does. very long! Yes. Now Shinsuo's here. Now that they're gonna get in a fight, I guess. Okay. I think we'll move on to the next one. I don't know how to work your phone. Hmm. I need more caffeine. Get a it's too late for that. Where is Shoto? He's gone. He's gone. He's alone. Oh. Random. There. What? Open like kiss. Yeah, where was Todoroki in that fic? I don't know. <laughs> okay, this one is called Half Light. Oh, this one? This one is Todoroki and Deku. So was this something that already existed, or was this something that was... Break out the high school musical no, characters. No, this yeah. already existed. We just couldn't find it last time. Yeah, it this was, was made in This was published in 2019. This is amazing. Why are you bringing them out? Someone asked for them. I put them away for a reason. Fine. Party poopers. Okay, bring them out if you want. Sure I'm part Someone's of gotta be Shoto. Right. Yeah. So which one? Gabriella was... Kelsey has Shoto energy. Kelsey has Shoto energy? <laughs> the pianist. Okay, you say so. Okay. So. This one's called Half Light. Um, it is by... Who is it by? Tiny Grunt, who is on... Who is honestly on this Twilight Boku no Hero train before we were. We just couldn't find the crossover. That is saying a lot. It is. Um, I won't read you the summary. Uh, a Toto, a Toto Deku Twilight of you, don't at me. Don't at me. Says the author. Thank you. Okay, listen. So it's the year of our Lord 2019 and Twilight is having a renaissance, which is great and all. My girlfriend sends me lots of mood boards about it. This sounds like you and me, basically. <laughs> um, we end up watching the movies because why not? And you know what? As I'm watching, all I can think of is the fact that Edward's awkward, dramatic ass is the biggest Todoroki Shoto energy, and I knew that I had to make this happen. Literally, I'm not even going to apologize. So much of this is just, like, literally just Twilight. Izuku isn't Bella, so that's different. It's set in Japan, so that's different. I'm using third person, so that's different. I just had to, re to reimagine this awkward, dramatic story with kids who know what memes are. Sure. It's gonna be a ride. Give me clout. <laughs> my high school musical X, my hero academia X, Twilight. Yes. Um, so you guys should definitely go read this one if you're interested. Half Light by Tiny Grunt. I think it has 36 We're chapters. giving them clout. No, no, it has 18 chapters. It was supposed to have 36 chapters. The author has not finished it yet. Get on that. Get on that. So this is just gonna be like the beginning. Yeah, this one starts the same way the other one does too. They're all stars and there's stars behind their heads. The symbolism. The symbolism. It's so symbolic. So much thought went into this board game. <laughs> they are stars, and we see that. 
<laughs> Amazing. <laughs> You've really had a breakthrough today. <laughs> I feel like I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just started singing High School Musical. I can sing more if you like. No. I don't like. No, thank you. I just murder you. Okay. Azuku had never given much thought as to how he would die. I have. But dying in the place of someone he loved. That's not even how it starts. Well, the movie starts. Yeah, exactly. The deer is drinking water. The deer is drinking water <laughs> in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> this is Bella. Deku. Badeku. That's Badeku? Bede. <laughs> I wish that I was as hyper as you are right now. I really do. I do. I do. I do wish that. <laughs> Why are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. Why are you mad at me? I just need some of your energy. You have a Red Bull, that's what I had. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Look at them, they're friends. Maybe it should go this way. Maybe it's a fan fiction. He was young and sheltered, newly 17. Your hair is so scratchy. <laughs> Get off of me. Kacha. Oh, oh, here comes the pain. <laughs> Push you off the whole entire chair again. Just for you. Just for you. <laughs> What? Continue. Uh huh. Uh huh. Stop! Stop! You're gonna, you're gonna hurt my croissant. I'm gonna hurt your croissant. You're gonna hurt my croissant. <laughs> my croissant's gonna be hurt. You're hurting my croissant! You're hurting my croissant! He was sheltered. He was young and sheltered, newly 17, and Japan was one of the safest countries in the world. He looked both ways before he crossed the street. He'd always been relatively healthy and never undertook any particularly dangerous hobbies. Oh. Until he started effing a vampire. <laughs> That's not what it says. That was my own improvisation. <laughs> he didn't play contact sports. He didn't smoke. Didn't even ride a bike for fear of crashing it. So needless to say, Izuku never expected to go out like this. Oh right, he's thinking about dying. He's thinking about dying. It's the end of the movie. It's the end of the world. It happened in slow motion, like every movie cliche with his life flashing before his eyes. Azuku stared across the room and into the eyes of the beast, dark with pupils blown wide. He thought of his mother holding him as a baby and what it would be like for her when she found his body. The beast looked back at Izuku, appreciatively, and he thought that maybe it'd be okay if his mother never did find him. He hoped that there would be nothing left of him. In the back of his mind, Izuku thought of how all this began. He knew that if he'd never chosen to go and live with his father in... Wakani? Not Fumuko? No, different place this time. Wakani, then he'd never be in this position. But blameworthy as the decision was... He couldn't bring himself to regret it. He was sure that if he could, he would go back in time to choose differently. He wasn't sure that if he could, sorry, wasn't sure, he wouldn't choose differently. For the first time in his life, Azuku had been able to reach a, for a sort of dream so far beyond his comprehension and expectations. It's clearly the dream of immortality. It was certainly greedy of him, but he could not bear to give up his new paternal reality in exchange for his old, oh, preternatural, sorry reality in exchange for his old useless normal. He had lived and loved enough in the past in the last few months to live a lifetime before him the beast advanced. Time break. Azuku's mother escorted him to the airport as far as she could before she herself had to go. 
In Hanada's departures area, they made quite the scene. She was sobbing, and he was, well, also sobbing. He'd never spent much time away from his mother. After the divorce, she'd gotten sole custody. <laughs> and he'd gone to visit his, his dad in a long while. He barely remembered. <laughs> You'll call me at least once a week, she asked, cradling his face like he was precious glass, and Izuku laughed through his tears and stuffy nose. I'll call you every day, he responded. I'm gonna miss you so much. His mother smiled sadly and kissed him on the forehead. Aww. He would need to leave to go and board soon, and she needed to pack for the move. She was leaving Tokyo to go live with Izuku's stepfather in America, where he was working abroad. It won't be too long, I hope, she said. You'll come and visit for winter vacation. And really, he couldn't wait for that. Hold on. Where are you going? There has been a request I cannot deny. Continue reading. Oh, everybody wants Desi Ray. Yeah. Where is she? We're waiting for the lady. I'm so sorry in advance for your eardrums. Somebody's eardrums always get killed during the stream. That's a How long are we going to be streaming? I do not know. We'll see. I waited for you. Here she is. <laughs> no, the airport scene did not happen in the books for Twilight. Bah! <laughs> And that's the you are all sending again. <laughs> Somebody goes, this lady time. <laughs> ah, I love her so much. <laughs> oh, she, she's love her. She's like, ah. Oh, what the sin? Or will we part taking it? We're reading Twilight My Hero fanfiction. Oh, Desiree. that's an awful life choice. <laughs> oh, okay. Read it to me. I am. I am read the, it to you. Yes, I am the publisher. I would like to know if I can make this into a Fifty Shades of Grey. A bullshit. Okay, continue, please. Oh, I saw this hamster. Yes, this is I saw this hamster. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, lady, you snipped. Lady. That's a way. What? That's a way. Ba. Ba. Does he ba. Oh. <laughs> Does he, why don't you support yourself? Because she's a lady. I do want to pet her, though. Is this Hold on, I got to pet her. She's so sweet. She's so soft. She's so soft. Keep reading the fan fiction. Desiree. Hold on, I gotta pet Desiree. She needs some love. I need some love from her. Desi, you just look like a pair of lips. Yeah, Desiree. You're just jowls. Desi. Desi. Why do you put your head like that? I don't know. Hello. My name is Desiree, and I like to say that you're all sinners. You sin. You partake in the unholy. Ba. <laughs> ba. Ba, ba. She's so cute, guys. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> She's so cute. She's so cute. She's so cute. Okay. She's my freckle baby. Ah, I lost She's the my freckle baby. Where did it go? She's my freckle baby. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is actually a good. Oh no, it's not loading anymore. This one is actually a good fan fiction, and it will take a while to read. Should we skip ahead? Yeah. We can just pick like random things to read from it. True. That could be fun. And Vic turns into doggo petting. Well, you guys asked to see her. I can't deny you a lady. Also, we love to pet a lady. We love to pet a lady. She's the best lady. She's a baby lady. Okay. You look okay. like a shark. We're fast forwarding. Next chapter. Fast forwarding. If you actually want to go read this fan fiction, it is good. So Toshinori is Izuku's dad again. Okay. Hmm. I am Mr. Aizawa's hamster. I am one of two gerbils. Okay, a this, a this, all right, oh, look at me, look at me, I'm the lady, I'm the lady. Very quietly. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but she's really snorting. Don't make your boyfriend one of two. She's a very popular lady. That's a really don't look attractive right now. It's alright. Why do you make a baby faces for the camera, lady? She's adorable. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, she's a baby. Oh, do 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 do. She's my love child with Todoroki. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> don't be stinky. Calvin's being stinky. Don't be stinky. <laughs> we can kiss in front of my salad. Does this raise your salad? salad. Hey, this is a non-18 and up stream. That was a sinful salad. <laughs> That's a ray. Someone needs to create a lady bobblehead. <gasps> I would love a lady bobblehead. A lady bobblehead would be perfect. Oh, Does a ray, do you want to be a bobblehead? A bobblehead? A I bobblehead? want to be in a tub of beef is what I want. I'm trying to get to the part where Todoroki... But I haven't found it yet. I'm like several chapters. Ha. This is a long, this is a long, slow fan fiction. Ba. Ba. Maybe we ba. will skip to the next one. Ba. Ba. This one actually ba. seems ba. like a good ba. fan fiction, ba. 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 but not a good fan fiction I read right now. Ba. Da. Da. Look how long her ears Ooh. are. Adult cunt. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> this one's called, this one's by PewDiePie. <laughs> you know the infamous fanfic writer, PewDiePie? PewDiePie. <laughs> I don't know. Why is he not the beef pie? What if he was the beef pie man? What if he got to me beef pies? Beef pies. So this is crack? Crack pies? Oh, humor sex. Crack pies. Attempted humor. Attempted crack. <laughs> what you wanted by PewDiePie. Nah. In which Bakugo and Todoroki are dumb vampires, and Midoriya is a dumb, cute boy who's a bit too trusting and a little too thirsty. Can I please have some chicken nuggets? Desiree. But instead of chicken, it's beef. Desiree. Stink fingers. Bakugo watches from the shadows. Ah, oh, what if I had some beef, is what he's thinking. And what if I gave it to Desiree? Is Desiree, this is why you're not allowed in streams, because you're very distracting. I don't understand. Give me the lady. 
Give me no. no. Where am I going? Do I get to go to the Italian restaurant? Oh, thank you. She's so warm. Oh. Give her back. Yeah, I just want to hold her and eat and sleep. You take my lady. That's right. Where do you want to go, lady? You want to stay oh, here? I... Okay. <laughs> Bakugo watches from the shadows, totally. careful to not allow himself to be seen as his current prey closes the front of the, the front door behind him. Delray, stop licking my sandwich and reading hand. That's tasty. That's right. Sin tastes good. Um. I am not high, guys. <sighs> not high. Just because I'm having a good time doesn't mean I'm. I'm on anything. Gosh. Can't someone just have fun reading their Twilight My Hero Academia fanfictions? The lovely lady can do where she likes. I think the lovely lady wants to go back to her bed. She's yep. decided that she doesn't want to be here. We want to go return the lady. Mia! Mia! Come and love me! Come and love me! Somebody says that they would watch a stream with just you and Desiree. Sloth, you are. Just go put her back in her bed. She, just, she already looks like a sloth. Mm -hmm. She wants to go back into bed. <laughs> Alright, the ladies. You have to say bye, Dizzy. Bye. 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 <laughs> bum, 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 now then, you're a hoe. Where's Todoroki? Not here right now. Oh, Nikki and Beef isn't the thing. It's Desiree and Beef. It's Desiree loves Beef. Uh, Desiree should have the stream. Honestly. Yes. Sorry, guys. We're just, like, totally out of character tonight. It's a thing. It's what we do. Sometimes. We're just ourselves, but in costumes. That's how it goes. I'm just like tired now. I don't know why. Stop being sleepy. Me? No. <gasps> is that is that my um <laughs> pineapple? <laughs> Tell me again what you think this vegetable is. Pineapple. It's a, it's clearly a vegetable pineapple. Oh no. <laughs> a pineapple vegetable. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. You know what that sounds like? Big pineapple. Uh huh. Well, go on. So good. No, I'm so hungry. I'm hungry, and I need a different drink. And there's so many needs that I have going on right now. I can't focus. We'll go get mm -hmm. another drink. Mm -hmm. I accidentally put too much watermelon in my mouth. ASMR. This is my ASMR of me eating some pineapple. This is my ASMR of me eating some tough pineapple. Oh, everybody's gonna get mad at us for calling it pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like watermelon. This is my pink. This is my red pineapple, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. This is clearly pineapple and cube-shaped blood. This is my frozen blood um, because we are, in fact, uh, vampires. No, I'm a human. Or am I pregnant with the baby and have to drink blood? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> this is the imprint. 
I'm so sorry if you join into our mukbang. <laughs> our pineapple mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. If you guys are just here for us to kiss, we did that earlier. <laughs> Give me the fork. <laughs> I'm done eating this with my hands. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. Now. No, it's small. Wow, so spicy. Oh, did you get pineapple all over your mouth? I don't like this game. It is tasty pineapple, thank you. It's the best pineapple. You guys want us to kiss in front of our salad? Jesus, so are you kissing in front of Desiree's salad? A big salad. Ah. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> you wet and sticky now? Yeah. Mm. And that's what happens when you eat pineapple. Gotta stop eating pineapple. Damn that pineapple, though. You know what I'm saying? That good pineapple? <laughs> Vore the pineapple. I got full seed in my mouth. Vore the pineapple. Ugh. For the pineapple. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do oh, it. Do it. Do it. Do it. My jaw doesn't want to change like that. Mine does. Weakling. It's... It's... Spring Dew Melon? Obviously. Yeah, it's Spring Dew Melon. Pineapple Melon. Duh. Uh-huh. Wet and sticky. Watermelon in the chat. No pineapple, pineapple in the chat. Pineapple in the chat. Pineapple apple Calvin. <laughs> He's a tiny spaceman. <laughs> He's just my little dog. Don't know where he's Wait a second for the pineapple in my mouth in one bite. Listen, not all of our jaws unhinge like yours do. I'm sorry I'm a lizard person. I just lick at the pineapple. Go. Like a sad lizard. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. You talk to them for a second. Yes, I want to touch the butt. Is Pineapple apple pin. Is it fat enough? Watch him throw it back. Throw it back. Throw it back. 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 Hello, everybody. As always, this is a fanfic live stream where we don't read too much fanfiction, but instead just give you our unadulterated chaos. Unadulterated? Unadulterated. <laughs> so many pineapples in the chat. Pineapples in the chat. Pineapples in the chat. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. How do you not know that I'm always, how do you know that I'm not always a character? Almost my birthday. You guys find it weird or rude when people ask you to kiss on camera? No, not really. We know you guys. We we understand our audience. Although, like, we'll do it eventually. Just wait. Be patient. And it shall happen. Because, like, we want to do more things than just kiss on live streams. But we're glad you guys like to watch us kiss on live streams. How long have we been awake? I've been awake since 9.30. Calvin! Hi, sir! He's being creepy. I'll show you guys. There he is. Creepy Kevin. Oh, oh both of them! Both of them! Both of them! Hi, sir! Hello, everyone! It's to me, Calvin Klein! Desi, come here! Calvin! Calvin, Desiree! Please don't knock over the live stream. 
Desi, thank you for coming to my talk show. Hi everyone, welcome Desi Ray Cyrus. So she's here to discuss all of your questions. If you have any questions for her right now during our intermission. Um, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Desiree! Oh, God, you want me to eat that? <laughs> Desiree! <laughs> no. Calvin, here you go. This is a way! This a What do you want? Miss Lady. Here she is. Okay. Your father back. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Here she is. The ma'am. The lady. Look how beautiful her ears are. We've been growing them out. Do you like beef, Desi? Ah, uh, yes. I am the biggest beef enthusiast you will find in the trusted area. I love all kinds of beef. I love all kinds of beef. Um. What's it like living with your parents, Desiree? Ray? Well, you see, they are weirdos. They like to dress up like uh, fictional characters. I can smell that they had food, but I'm trying to find the food. They're odd. They don't give me enough of beef. And I wish I had. I wish I had more beef. Does Desi get more love than Ray. Yeah, I'd say so. How do you get shoutouts on your Insta? Um, if you become a Gucci girl, that's included in the package. Desi X Beef is canon, yes. Can we do Witcher cosplay? Yeah, we have we have Witcher cosplays. Once uh, quarantine is over, we'll be doing like Witcher cosplay content. So we can hang out with um, our Geralt. Um, actually, that's Nick Cage's Jesus. Me, um. Desi Ray, who's your celebrity crush? <laughs> Desi Ray, who's your celebrity crush? Lady Gaga. Uh, La Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is my celebrity crush. Oh, why do you like Lady Gaga? Oh, well, you say, uh, Lady Gaga is, uh, she had uh, one face where she had a beef address. Mm -hmm. And the beef address is my favorite, and so she became my celebrity crush. Okay. Yes. So you just like her beef dress? Well, uh, no. Uh, you see, she came up with this idea, and I really respect the person who had the beef address thought of. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Very yes. insightful. Now. So, uh, the zebra likes Lady Gaga. Oh, you're speaking third person now. Sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love Lady Gaga. Especially in her beef dress, but this pink gaga, all the gagas kind of suck. Why do I feel like Desi Ray is the favorite child? Because <laughs> she kind of is. She's not, absolutely <laughs> not. I am the favorite child, but the, they don't give me beef. <laughs> we have beef stars. I uh, guess. Sure. I love you. I love you. Hey, this is a this isn't an eighteen and up um, stream, so making out with the dog is kind of it's kind of inappropriate. Desi Ray, who's your favorite Boku no Hero? Uh, my favorite Pokemon <laughs> is uh, I like uh, the 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 one that goes bzzz, and also Snorlax. Oh. I like Snorlax the best. Uh, Miss Lady is a lady. That's why she's called Miss Lady. I'm a lady and the lady. She's a lady. It's a lady and a tramp, but everybody is lady, and uh, the lady is played by me. Desi, what do you think about your collar design? Uh, I kind of like it, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a blue, Tiffany blue. 
It's got the sparkles on it. I don't think any dog. I just want to kiss your nose. Oh, thank you. Can I kiss your little freckles? May may I? Ma'am. <laughs> um, are you going to celebrate Bakugo's birthday again? Yes. Maybe. I'm going to celebrate the Bakugo's birthday. Jesus. <laughs> What's your favorite tweet? I mean, treat. <laughs> oh, beef. Beef, beef, beef. 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 I'm not making out with her. I'm giving her kisses. I'd love to give her little kisses. There's many different ways to kiss Desiree. There's yummy. There's kiss the spot. There's yummy freckles. And then there's kiss a freckle. And then there's secret freckle. There's secret freckle down here. You can see the freckle. Zaray sounds like Uptown and Victor. Yeah. I don't know if that's 100% true. Oh, someone wants me to boop your nose. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Don't know what you want to do. What the fuck is going on? Um, I'm interviewing Desiree while Rachel gets another drink. Are you almost done getting your drink, babe? Desi, do you like air grapes? Let's see. Ma'am! Does it rain? Oh! Ah, little girl, do you want an air grape? Yes, she does like air grapes. Ma'am! Ma'am! Oh, another air grape! Does it rain? Does it rain? Does it rain? Oh my god! Is this, is this an air tangerine? Oh, it's an air tangerine! Yes, I do hate these stars. Um, you can give Desi cuddles through the screen, but Desi has said goodbye because she's done with this craziness. She's like, no more. So she is a queen. She's my lady. Bakugo's doing something in the kitchen. Kachan! Yeah. What are you doing? Kachan, what are those? My lentil chips? Yes. Kachan. They're mine now. Inside of my salad. With hummus. With hum. Oh, actually, that would taste good. Yeah. Bring some of that in here. Okay. Eat your shit while we read the fan fiction. I'm gonna eat and read Venture to the Kachan. 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 No. Miss Lady, not for a lady. They're kind of funny, aren't they? I've changed my mind. You don't like it? No. You can't run from me. Drama. Hello. It's -a me, Calvin the Archon. I am the least favorite of the Gremlins. No one loves me. Oh no. Oh no. I'm an international designer and a bisexual icon. And I was cursed by the Dinner Witch! The Dinner Witch! Uh, I, I just don't understand why you all love this place so much. <laughs> Calvin, you're so sad. Calvin, you're so sad. Um, Calvin and I can kiss. I can give Calvin a kiss. He's like, oh, my son. The stinky man is here. Here's the stinky. The boy. Why does your face smell like cheese? 
Oh, I'm so glad you guys love me. Hello, hello. I am saying hello to all my adoring fans. Hi, hi, hi. Pineapple, apple, calendar. I have a pine. I have an apple. Ooh, pineapple. I have an apple. And the Calvin. Apple Calvin. Pineapple. Apple Calvin. Mm. Pineapple. Apple Calvin. Dun 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 dun. Calvin is baby. He's the biggest baby. He's drama. Ugh. He's a he's a sweet little bug. I call him he's a bug. He's a little bug bull. He's a little baby bug. You're a baby bug. You're a bug. Ooh. Your little tears. I like this weird obsession with like cleaning their eyes. I'm like, ah, oh, your eyes must always be clean. Deku, sing a song, please. What song do you want me to sing? I just sang Calvin's pineapple song. Deku, I found your dad, Broccoli. My dad isn't Broccoli. Ha ha ha. Obviously, my mom is. Why does... Oh, the dogs are about to be trapped in here. Maybe Italy. Yeah, I should probably let them out. Do you guys want to go outside? Oh. Oh, Jen. Oh, no. God, I haven't thought about Hitalia in a hot second. Oh, you? God, Calvin had some weird stink on his face. Do y'all watch Malachichi? Malachi? Do we watch Malachi, our friend Malachi? I needed a water and food break. <laughs> Oh my god, god shot. That's what happened. Also Red Bull. Also Red Bull. Is that Red Bull? Mm -hmm. Thoughts on Beastars? Blech. <laughs> oh no! Ugh. Gross. Disgusting. Disgusting. Let it go. Let it go, let it go, can't pull it back anymore. Turn away and slam no, the door on our dog so they don't ruin our stream. Where'd I put my phone? That's already happened. I don't know where your phone is. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Chi Chi. You just send it, you just send, um, art to like our DMs and stuff or just tag us. Like, I don't, I don't know any other way to, unless you just want to send it in the mail. Why do I not like Beastars? Well, I don't like furry things. I don't like anthropomorphic things. Um, the rabbit tried to do inappropriate things with the wolf when he just couldn't answer what he wanted for food. Um. Yep. I have a lot of complaints. This joint on a stream. I'm back. I booted up again, I swear to God. Gotcha. Full. Uh, catch on energy. It's not full of much. Ready to. <laughs> okay, time to get back to these fan fictions. Was there only three? Okay. Well, there's also the crack. Well, we'll Rachel, the crack what's your, your thoughts on B-Stars? Seems alright. 
We haven't gone very far. I was screaming, though, along with Nikki. We were both screaming. Hearing parts of it. I thought you'd also hear it. Morphic things don't really bother me that much. Poor Nikki. Oh, Nikki. Nikki's just not a big fan of like anthropomorphic animals. It creeps me out. And they're having, they're doing nasty, stanky things. And like the fact that they're animals doesn't like. For the further story, the story, for like it could be the same story with humans. Honestly, I think it'd be more interesting. Just, it's creepy. Okay. It's weird. Okay. I think it's, it's, we're not, not going on a whole sexual. rant about. We're not going on a whole rant about why you don't like these stars. We'll be here forever. Or just make a YouTube video about it. Yeah, you can make a YouTube video about it. Mm -hmm. They're so cold. Yeah. They were in the fridge. They're right here. <laughs> People miss them. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's boots a furry. Yes. That's an accurate question. I don't like Dora. <laughs> not, not Dora. Puss in boots. Oh, Shrek. Shrek. No, he looks like a cat. He just yeah. is 100% a cat. He doesn't have hands. He doesn't he have feet. He just talks. He just talks. Talking animals is fine. Okay. I talk for my dogs all the time. No, and Boots from Dora is not a furry. <laughs> he doesn't even talk. Yes, he does. He's just a monkey. He talks. Oh, he does talk. But he's just a monkey. Monkeys freak me out. Monkey wearing boots. Oh, there's you. You don't like monkeys. Can you do some dares? Maybe later. I hope I'm not late, dude. Dude, we we just mess around till we eventually just you crave food strongly. Okay, <clears throat> forgotten and lost. Should I read the summary or just hit right into it? <gasps> oh, this. <laughs> no, please read the tags. Okay. The tags are what made me cry earlier. This one is called Forgotten and Lost. This is a VeggieTales Boku no Hero Academia fan fiction. I hate VeggieTales. Um, the relationship is Midoriya and Todoroki. Uh, characters, Larry the Cucumber, is Midoriya, Zuku, and Todoroki Shoto. Additional tags, angst, self-reflection, self-projection. This is also sort of crack. Don't take it too seriously. Look, I'm coping, okay? Christianity. Look, I'm Christian and I'm coping. This is some weird universe freeform stuff. I left Larry. I'm not sorry. I left him for Toto Deku. I'm long gone. I don't even know what I'm tagging anymore. Larry resembles my faith. Oh god, when did I make this so personal? Larry is out of character. Please don't kill me. One shot travel. Welcome to Forgotten and Lost. By Subisho. Subisho. Yeah. Summary. Larry the Cucumber has been abandoned, left for another universe he doesn't understand. <laughs> All he knows is that God wouldn't accept this new hobby his abandoner seemed so emotionally connected to. He can't help but shake his cucumber head in disappointment when he washes, watches the obsession over the two new fictional characters in their own universe. As, world, as words pile on top of each other about how happy they are, Larry wonders if he's even real enough to make a difference. I need something to be Larry. Who grabs something? Anything. Okay. This works. I hate VeggieTales. That's just something I don't like. Oh! Uh, it has to be something I don't like. Don't you have a cucumber in the fridge? That's the... It kind of looks like a cucumber, though. Um, notes. See the end of the work for notes. I just kind of olives. I don't like olives. Larry the cucumber does not have to be olives. Why do you have to do this to my olives? <sighs> this is only one chapter, <laughs> and it's only three hundred and ninety-three words. This is Larry the <laughs> cucumber. <laughs> so what's happening? I just got here. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. Um, <clears throat> Hello Kitty is fine because she's cute and like. Non-threatening, and she's also mostly a cat. She's not really. Okay. She's also not that. Um, Larry has sung many silly songs, but now his head isn't singing a mesh of silliness, only a melody of melancholy. He's seen everything written, everything consumed, 
The eyes, tainted beyond belief, straying so far from the light. He's tried to answer himself, reaffirm the faith, reaffirm the hope for being treated the same, for not having to live, scrutinizing every word and looking for acceptance. The ideas are so convoluted, every answer different and forming into an album. Amalgam? God damn. I'm too... I'm tired stupid. for these words. Yeah, stupid for these words, too. <laughs> of nothing but a slimy monster. <laughs> he can't give one to his abandoner. He supposes he'll give them a name, letting them go by Judas. <laughs> Wait, <'cause I'm> <laughs> Judas. <laughs> you need a Judas now. Judas, no. No, Judas. Oh, hold on. I think this is a better Judas. This has more Judas energy. Oh, this definitely got Judas energy. <laughs> okay. Larry knows Judas knows they are wrong. <laughs> he knows Judas will continue to hide from Larry and push him aside, now preferring Toto Deku, and how it makes them feel safe, similar. <laughs> Humans are always looking for the easy way out, which is exactly why Larry has no other answer than it isn't okay. What you're doing isn't okay. <laughs> Larry is a human, by the way, I think. <laughs> Larry just hit the deck. <laughs> no, wait, Larry's... Larry's you guys on... won't be able to see them. Okay, here's Toto you Deku. Hold all of them. We're not talking about Toto Deku yet. They're not oh. even characters yet. Oh. Just Larry and the Cucumber. <laughs> no, Larry and Judas. Judas and the Cucumber. <laughs> Humans are always looking for the easy way out, which is exactly why Larry... Oh, wait, we've already read this. Larry is a smart enough cucumber to realize that he is envious somewhat of his neighbors in another universe. They can be morphed to fit anyone, he guesses, and he wants to feel the same. He goes by his beliefs, however, which is exactly why Judas left. Judas couldn't handle the fact of rules already being sat in place, rules that didn't fit them, and that they would have to follow to receive benefit. After all, that's what everyone has explained to Judas. The universe leaks into his thoughts as Judas taps away in another time frame. Why did he just say that? He groaned inside of his head, wishing the gods would bless him with simple human communication, the only thing he seemed to be lacking. He, so he swiped his still teary eyes once again. I don't think I could ever dislike you, smiling wobbly, he tentatively leaned in, hugging Todoroki slightly. Larry knew the poor soul was just coping, but this mechanism wasn't going to do him any good. How they've strayed so far, Larry doesn't know. He can't make the rules, and counter to Judas's belief, the only thing now is his worry. His worry that Judas will never come back. Tears streaming down his cucumber body. He almost thinks he's his... He tears Judas' conscious, reconsidering before the thought fades away into nothingness. They can't be saved. That's the end of the fic. <laughs> Everyone say goodbye to Judas. And Larry, the olive jar. Oh, no! <laughs> that is so rude. Do not squeak this in our live stream. You do it, God damn I dare you. Put the duck in my mouth? Do it. Put Judas in your mouth. Put Judas. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Give it to me. Hey! Why'd you have to throw Judas across the room like that? Because you wanted to. Alright, I'm gonna throw Larry. No! You can't throw the olive <laughs> jar! It's a jar of olives! What if I do? Absolutely. It's, it's gonna break and you're gonna clean it up. It's gonna get all over your computer charger. It's gonna zap out your computer because you threw a jar of olives. If you keep doing this, then you're going to pretend like, no, no, no. What if I do? I really want to. Just <laughs> what? What if I do? No, Nikki. Nikki, put it down. <laughs> We're not going to read any more fan fictions until you put the olives down. No, don't throw the olives! 
Do not throw the olives. Those are my olives. Oh my god. <laughs> He just threw them into the dog bed and absolutely scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. Do you? Yes. I really hate that. Terrible. Next fan fiction? Next fan fiction! We have only have one left. That was a really short fan fiction. Sorry, guys. Um, so this one is uh, not rated. But it is uh, Bakugo x Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Bakugo x Kermit the Frog is this fan fiction. <laughs> so you're gonna, can you do a Kermit the Frog voice? No, I can't. I don't even know what he sounds like. You don't know what Kermit the Frog sounds like? Not from memory. Oh. Hmm. Can wasn't, you sound like this? Wasn't there another Pocono Hero Twilight fan fiction? Yeah. Did it not send? No, it didn't send. Are you sure? No, that's it. You read all the ones that you sent me. You only sent me three. Oh, right. I have some on my phone. Yeah. I was like, I swear there's something else that's we're not reading. Is this going to take you a second? No, I got it. Ah, that was fast. Chapter 1. The Beginning. Izuku Midoriya was an agonizingly average-looking boy. From his fluffy, broccoli-like mane of curls to his verdant emerald orbs that sparkled with limpid tears near constantly, he never considered himself anything but ordinary. And yet, somehow, he had found himself in a truly extraordinary situation. And it all started when his mother, Inko, MILF SUPREME, MILF, had informed him that he would be going to stay with his father, Hot Charlie, in the exotic far-off land of Forks, Washington, for a few months while she tended to some... business. Everyone knows you never question a true MILF when it comes to... business. Such as Izuku. And as such, Izuku merely nodded and packed his bags. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. When Izuku got off the plane, he found that his father's nickname was indeed quite deserved. Charlie was very hot, and with his perfectly groomed mustache and ass that wouldn't quit even if you paid it. One look at those jeans and Izuku knew what side of the family he had gotten his own jeans from. Charlie was a kind and gentle soul, as befitting as such a hot and rugged dilf opening his heart and home to his estranged son mere hours after meeting him to the first, for the first time in ten years. He, <clears throat> he even bought Izuku a beat-up old truck to drive to school in. So nice! Izuku tried to tell him that he didn't have a license because he was 15 and from Japan, but Charlie assured him that everything was daijobu because Washington is a hick state and laws aren't real there, and he wouldn't know because he was a cop. He'd actually gotten the truck from the family of Izuku's old childhood friend, Katsuki Bakugo, whom Izuku lovingly dubbed Kachan. The gruff boy hadn't changed at all from when they were children, except mm -hmm. now that he had tall he was tall and buff and handsome. And also, his teeth seemed pointier, and he growled a lot, and kinda smelled like a wet dog. Ah! And now he was like super mean all the time. Like so pissy and loud. Wow, what the fuck was up with that? But he still called Izuku Deku, so really, it was the same old Kachan from his childhood. Just as Izuku was starting to feel a sense of normalcy, though, everything changed. Dun dun dun! The shit started to really hit the fan on his first day of school. The school, a little hole in the wall called UA Academy, was really kind of a dumb, was really kind of a dumb, if he was being honest. But in that homey small town way, it was nice. 
there weren't lots of kids there, so when Izuku was announced as a new student, everyone took notice. It really made Izuku's social anxiety act up because, you know, he's just a little uwu bean and he doesn't know what to do when people want to talk to him. In fact, the only thing he could think the only thing he could think to do was cry, but that only made him seem all the more alluring to the podunk inhabitants of the school. They had never seen such a beautiful but average boy burst into tears at anyone, so who who so much had tried to say hello. He was instantly the most popular boy in school, not that he could tell, as he was just a shy little egg of a boy. Once he had cried himself dry, a nice girl named Uraraka offered to show him around. They had the same schedule, because the school wasn't big enough to have multiple classes. The school, the first class of the day was lunch. The first class of the day was lunch. <laughs> And it was there that Izuku got his first glimpse of the people that would change his, his life, life forever. forever. Who are they, Izuku? Who are they? Izuku asked, pointing a shaking hand at the table occupied by exclusively beautiful people. Oh, those are the Cullens, Uraka tells him. They're like the plastics from Mean Girls, but slightly less bitchy. What's the deal with the one looking at me like I'm a prime rib at an all-you-can-eat for a two ninety nine steak lovers buffet? Izuku asked again, pulling out his phone so he could insta-stalk him. After all, that's the only right thing to do when you see a hot guy making eyes at you over his uneaten baby carrots. Um, oh, that's Todoroki Cullen, Uraka nodded. You have good taste, but he's a total ice queen. Top that bitch off with the Thought Patrol over there, he's completely unattainable. But you might have a chance with one of the other ones. Try lowering your standards. Hmm, that's some good advice, Uraka. Izuku smiled with the brightness of one million suns, blinding all who saw him with his powerful radiation. <laughs> we are now best friends for life! Ta da! Agreed. Uraka grinned, shaking hands with Izuku and sealing the blood pack, raising their social link in accordance with the prophecy. I would die for you at any time. After that, school was over, and Izuku went back to the beat up old clunker Hot Charlie had gotten for him. He fumbled endearingly with his keys for 15 oh, sorry minutes. guys, we changed tracks from Kermit X Bakugo to this one. We'll go back to Kermit in a moment. This one's Twilight. Um, he fumbled with his keys endearingly for 15 whole minutes as he tried to get his car open. He didn't know why he had so many keys on his key ring. It just came with being so quirky and awkward. Just as he had finally found the correct key to open the door to his truck, he heard the screech of tires of a silver Ford Explorer with an optional hatchback and heated seats came hurtling dangerously towards him across the parking lot. He screamed, tears streaming majestically down his face as he was sure he was about to become one with the great Kami in the sky. He heard a crash and a car alarm go off, but surprisingly felt no pain. He opened his water eyes and found himself looking up into the glistening mismatched orbs of Todoroki Kolin. The beautiful man stood over Izuku, one hand planted above the smaller boy's head, and the other rested on a great jutting icicle that pierced through the center of the Ford Explorer. BAM! <laughs> it's optional heated seats. We're no match for their ferociousness and phallic frost. What? Izuku gasped in a whisper. You didn't see anything, Todoroki Colin says in a sexy monotone. This is all a dream. Don't look for me. Don't ask questions. But why? Izuku questioned questioningly, but Todoroki was already gone. <laughs> Izuku felt his heart flutter in his chest. How mysterious, how daring. Could this be his lover? His voter certainly thought so, but he'd never been in love before. Dun dun dun! What was a painfully average and adorable team to do? Dun, dun, dun. He had to talk to someone about this. Feeling resolve fill him like the bubbly carbonation of Coke and if Mentos Rose and Coke. Izuku knew what to do. He hopped into his car and sped out of the parking lot at 65.263 miles an hour, mm -hmm. narrowly missing the ambulance pulling in as it responded to the 911 call out of a 100% genuine made American Ford Explorer mysteriously skewered by a tower of ice. He swerved erratically through the lanes of traffic so quickly that it was lucky his dad was a cop in Washington where the where laws aren't real. He threw himself out of the truck as soon as he got home and rushed himself down the street. <laughs> he was running down the street. The familiar red brick house. There was only one person he trusted with matters of the heart. With both the heart and the penis. Ooh. With a great kick to the door, Izuku busted in. Kachan, holy fuck! Uh, this one was called, what was the name of it? 
Hey, what was the name of that fan fiction? Um, 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 chapter one, the beginning. It's it's just called cursed content. This one isn't one you can look up either. It's just in our email. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That one's one of my favorites. The same fanfic writer has just messaged me and said, if you think I'm going to turn up the chance to write you Harry Potter Boku no Hero fic about uh, you about to be surprised. Oh my god. Who's the writer for that one? Um, Galactic Jax. They're Galactic. also known as Chaotic Goose at Cleaning Frenzy. Um, they definitely wrote it just for our needs. Yes, and it is so beautiful. Um... Okay, now for Bakugo X Kermit. Oh, wait. We do have another Twilight fan fiction. Oh, my goodness. This one's been written for me chapter by chapter. Um, they're pretty short because they're all written on Instagram wait, 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 wait. Messenger. Wait, whose POV is this? It this is, is Bella. Um, it's like, per- it's so Bella, it's written like a fan fiction. No, so, it's written like a play. Yeah, it's written like a play. <laughs> I think I'm in a role play. Oh. Um, yeah. Um, so I think we'll read this one. Um, tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah. Because it follows Bella's POV. Um, and it has my new OTP, Baku Bella. So if you got... Baku Bella. Um, so yeah. Um, we're gonna read that one tomorrow as, um... I'm gonna refill my glass and then I will watch and I will read Bakugo X Permit. We have so many sudden comments on the Patreon post of people being like, fan fiction! Um, so many fanfic links, oh my goodness. And then also for you guys to post other fanfiction links, you can do that on Patreon, but it's a free post that you guys can post on. Um, it's just easier for me to have one centralized location for them. Um, and also... Oh yeah. Yeah, so... I'm back and better than ever. It's Bakugo X Kermit time! I'm ready! I'm personally more of a fan of Bakugo X Elmer. Well, um, Bakugo X Kermit. So I'm trying to think of what Kermit's voice sounds like. Um, let me see. And it just sounds like Desiree. It doesn't sound like Desiree. It sounds like Kermit. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, I'm positive. Kermit the Frog. I'm gonna search up a, a reference for you. I'm trying to show you Kermit the Frog! Let me show and you I'm Kermit just trying to shove my tongue down your throat! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kermit the Frog and I'm gonna bite everything. Here's Kermit the Frog. Oh, this is him singing, I think. He's like this. This is what Kermit kind of sounds oh, like. That's like that's New York Ello right there. No, what the fuck is up, motherfucker? This is Kermit's frog. Mine Man. To which I reply. He kind of sounds like Bernie Sanders if he inhaled a lot of helium. Bernie Sanders? If Bernie Sanders just like inhaled a bunch of helium uh, and then that. got an upper respiratory infection. <laughs> oh, I hate that. No, I've had nightmares about those pink things. I fucking hate those so much. We're not on that anymore. We're on this child. We're not on the pink things. Sit back down. 
Mm, That's what Kermit sounds like. Oh, I feel triggered. Because of the pink face? I had dreams of those things eating me as a child. (laughs) I'm not kidding. I'm like trying hard enough to start crying on the stream. I hate those things. No. They're gone. They're gone. Come sit down. They're still alive. No, they're gone. Come sit down. Kermit the Frog, come on. I had dreams that one of them was under the coffee table. I don't know if you want to talk about this. I do want to talk about this. No. I had dreams that one of them was under the <laughs> coffee table, but it was also part squid, and my parents were sitting on the couch and they were happy about it being there, but Dream Me knew it wasn't supposed to be there, and there was something very creepy about it, and then it just ate my family. And then it grew tentacles and was like, I'm going to eat you next. And I was like, please don't. Mm-hmm. And I woke up as I was being dragged into its creepy mouth. Mm-hmm. I really hate puppets. Mm-hmm. Except for Labyrinth. Mm-hmm. Come sit back down. We already been talking about V-Stars, and now you just triggered some deep childhood trauma. Veggie Tales. Well, the Veggie Tales are pretty funny. But, like... I hate veggie tales. Somebody called your ne- your moans 18 and up. That's what the moans? sound you were making when you were like, mmm, mmm. <laughs> Come sit back down. Don't hide in the corner like some cryptid. Okay, fine. I will read the Bakugo X Kermit fanfiction while you stand in a corner like a weirdo. I will read this fanfiction by myself. Oh, you're coming back. You want to read the Bakugo... My butt's in the fire. <laughs> fire butt. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> um, so this is, yes, this is it. This is called Flowers. It's by Avian, Avian, a.k.a. Lady Romanoff. Um, Bakugo, summary, Bakugo does a special something for his wonderful boyfriend. <laughs> and author's note, why does the Bakugo X Kermit tag already exist? Whomst? Notes. So my friend dared me to write this, and well, here we are, I guess. Here we go, chapter one. Or the only chapter. Here it is. I'm still thinking of one of those things. Bakugo was never a romantic person. He wasn't really great at showing affection, and the words, I love you, rarely They're left his mouth. They're meant for children. Why are they so horrible? <laughs> We're reading about Bakugo X Kermit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but truly, he did feel love. Love for his puppet frog boyfriend, Kermit. Today, he was determined to do something special for him, which was why he found himself wandering through a field of wildflowers, grumbling to himself as branches and vines scratched his legs. He could have easily gone to a florist, but no. There was no... There was no was he... There was no way... He was going to make that much of a fuss over a stupid frog. An adorable, funny, kind, stupid frog. He couldn't help but feel a bit flustered as he walked over to the cafe to find Kermit waiting for him with a big smile. Katsu, you came! That's my best, my best bet at a Kermit impression. It sounds like Mickey Mouse. Oh, that's exactly what it sounds Uh like, Mickey Mouse. (laughs) What? Kotsky! Kotchon! 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 I hate this so much. I also hate Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Let's just make a video listing all the things I hate. Yeah, you have a long list. <laughs> of course I came, you fucking idiot! Bakugo rolled his eyes. Your legs are bleeding, Kermit <laughs> Frown! <laughs> what happened? I'm a fucking good boyfriend, that's what happened. Bakugo took out the slightly crumpled flowers, shoving them in Kermit's puppet face. (laughs) Happy fucking anniversary, you damn frog! (laughs) If Kermit wasn't a puppet, he would have blushed. (laughs) Thank you, Katsu! Why does he call him Katsu? I don't like that. Bakugo was blushing furiously, turning away so that Kermit couldn't see his face. You're welcome, pawn scum. (laughs) (laughs) Now hurry up and order your damn food so we can get the hell out of here. The end. Notes, I'm sorry, (laughs) y'all. Pawn scum. This work belongs to part one of the Crackship series. (laughs) Is there more? No, this is it. 
That's it. Thank you. Thank you. My Kermit impression could use some work, but that's it. Bakugo, sing your song. It's the song they were singing in that video with the fucking creepy things that ate my family and my dreams. <laughs> you gotta let go of these dreams. Okay? Rachel, it was a very, very... Gotta let go. There. Very there. Ah. Rachel's just reading and Nikki is having a panic attack. Welcome to the stream, guys! Wow! Nikki about to cry. It's okay, Nikki. Stop thinking about them. Stop thinking. Think about something else. No, think about something else. Hey, think about something else other than uh, the, the creepy pink things that have mouths. Look at these cute doodles somebody made of us. Hey. Stop remembering the war! Look at these cute doodles! Oh, they're very cute. These are adorable doodles. Look at how cute they are. So cute. Stop thinking about it. I'm so crazy. Stop it. They ate my family. Stop thinking about it. What if, what if they ate my family in another timeline and my consciousness jumped onto another timeline? Imagine a Mickey Mouse Mokino Hero crossover. What fun. Oh. I mean, that could be next. No. I hate Mickey Mouse. He's so creepy. He's literally the embodiment of capitalism and all Dude, that's wrong in America. have you seen what the duck looks like <laughs> us, to other people? I love Judas. <laughs> he looks so great. He's horrifying looking. Somebody tag this in this <laughs> screenshot and and honestly the rubber duck is just kind of the most horrifying thing that I've ever seen. I'm so sorry you guys had to go through that. <sighs> Nothing is worse than the things with the mouths. Oh. Uh. Well, we're out of fan fictions for now. <laughs> we'll do more tomorrow. But yeah, how long has stream been going for? Um since 8. Oh shit, it's been going for two hours and eleven minutes. Yes. I think I think it's time. You think it's time? It's, yeah. I think we got another one tomorrow. Alright, we'll do a really quick round of truth or dare. Look at how much Red Bull I have All left. Alright, we'll do truth or dare until Kachan's out of Red if Bull. Somebody wants to us to do Nico Nico Ni nee in our best cute voice and mean voice. Both you go first. You go first. I want to hear yours. Um, which one should I do first? Cute uh, or mean? I want to hear cute and then mean. Nico, Nico, ni? <laughs> that wasn't even that very good. Oh. No. <clears throat> you need a moment. Nico, Nico, ni? <laughs> that sounds a little too suggestive. <laughs> that, that's what you, like, like, you get a letter that's like, meet me in a hotel room, and then, like, all the lights are out, and that's all you hear. <laughs> And you're just like, all right, either I'm about to live my best you're fantasy. In my hotel room. Um, then there's also Nico Nico Ni. Oi, oi, oi. Um Nico Nico Ni. Nico Ni Oh wait, it's Calvin's. <clears throat> Where's Calvin's voice? Do it. Nico Nico Ni. Nico Hi, I'm Calvin Klein. Nico Nico Ni. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Nico, Nico, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, team Edward or team, team Jacob? Jacob? Team Charlie. I was always team Edward, but now I'm team Lee. Carlisle. Charlie. Charlie. Carlisle. Charlie. Carlisle. Charlie. 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 Best neko neko kneecaps. <laughs> I'm gonna break your neko neko, neko kneecaps, caps, brother. Ugh. Someone says, toss a coin, sing toss a coin to your witcher. Absolutely not. Toss a coin to go. Oh, valley of fun. Oh, valley. Plenty. Wow. Oh, <laughs> 
Uh, team Emmett. Oh, that's also a good team ooh, to be on. Team Emmett. <laughs> team Alice. <laughs> Who out here is gay for Alice? <laughs> Evan is gay for Alice. Evan is gay for Oh, okay. Carlisle and Alice, all right? Team Carlisle or Team Alice, please. Or Team Charlie. Tell me which one. Team Charlie. Team Charlie. Team Charlie. Team okay, Team Charlie is valid. Stop. You can't but... stop putting your hand over my mouth. It's a violation of my constitutional rights. What rights? <laughs> Free speech? Free speech. Constitutional rights. We the people. Don't touch my croissant. My croissant. You won't break my I've been Team Jacob since I was twelve. I'm mm. sorry that you don't see the majesty mm. that is Team Carlisle or Team Charlie. Gay for Alice. Yes, Team Alice. Mm. I dare you. What if I just didn't? Team Charlie, thank you. Team Alice, thank so you. many Team Alice is coming out of the world. Listen, we're here. quarantined and honestly, together. Thank you. Oh, what? Who's, who's someone's, someone's like? I don't see very much social distancing here. Excuse me. We sleep next to each other. There is no social distancing that is available to us. We don't social distance. We social together. Gotcha. And what's we one thing you hate about Hiroshima? Um. <clears throat> He's got shitty hair. Nikki x Charlie fanfic. I don't know if I want to fuck Charlie. Listen, if somebody made that, I'd read it. We'd read it. I don't know if I want. I don't know if I want to have sex with Charlie. I just love Charlie. You but know? you could read a fanfiction. But I would read a fanfiction if you, you don't want. have to have sex with Charlie. Carlisle though. Yeah. Carlisle. He's so. Yucky. He's like a bleach. I dare catch on to say Deku in a very deep Bakugo voice. Deku! <laughs> Happy now? Shine Deku. That was just full rumble. <laughs> <laughs> Six feet apart. Leave room for Jesus. Team never seen Twilight in my life. Hey. hey! You know what? You could watch it and then decide what team you're on. Yes. Or you could just join Team Charlie and take my word for it. Yes, we social together. Social distancing is important. Stay I wrote home. Edward X Bakugo. Where is it? Send us the Edward X Bakugo. If you don't DM it to me right now, it DM will not it get to Kachan. DM, DM it to Kachan. DM it to Kachan. DM it to. Kachan. You gotta M it. it. DM it. DM it to Kachan. To Kachan. That's funny, please. Thank you. To Kachan. You best DM it to me. I will get it, most likely. Most likely, I will get it. We do be the decay for Alice, though, truly. Hey, watch it. Watch it! Watch where your hand is going. What's just going on in your butt? Uh huh. Gay or European? European. I dare Deku to do an impression of Bakugo again. It is so funny. Ah! I'm I need a else! I got really loud! And no one likes me! Has I'm so super powerful and cool! I want everyone to die! But secretly, I think that my way of saying die is my weird way of saying I love you! I'm Gacha! Mm. Yeah, you bet I fucking did, bitch. You bet I fucking did. Mm. 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 Oh. <laughs> Don't die, are you a pineapple? 
my god. <laughs> the pineapple's coming out. But. Wow, amazing. Everybody, you guys had like five seconds where Nikki didn't say anything to lower your volume and you didn't take it. I'm sorry we couldn't put text up that was like, lower your volume now, warning, warning. Just like that little thing like a Mario Kart that's, that's like, like we need like a little red card about like every time we're about to get really loud, just flash it up and be like, hey. So why we need Evan as a moderator? We need a mod, we do actually. That would be very useful. Um, oh god, I I read that I dare you to make a mini slut right now, and I was like, Calvin, <laughs> we're gonna put you in a mini skirt. Um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make no, Calvin. no, 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 mini I, skit. Make a mini skit I right now. I wanna make a mini slut out of Calvin. No, 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 no. We're doing truth or dare. Okay, fine. Look at how much Red Bull I have to go. And I can still make Calvin a mini we're, slut. So and if, a if mini you're skit. wondering how much longer this stream is going to be going on. I'm gonna make Campbell a mini slut. Come on, like it will be fun. We, you, as I do that, you can think of the bring mini him a skirt. skirt. Bring him a skirt. You can think of the mini skirt. Mini skirt. I think of the skits all the time. You be the brain. <laughs> I got. Time. I got. I you think, think of the ideas. Come on, I, I, we'll do an idea all by yourself instead of me I'll being puppet master. I'll make a mini skit by myself then. Okay, you I don't need skit. you. Everyone needs me. It's my channel. It's my skin. <laughs> you are so drunk right now. I am not. A level from one to ten. I'm gonna make Calvin a mini slut. Hey. What? Okay, go back to what you were doing. <laughs> Don't throw me at the door, you asshole. I throwed you at the door. What are you gonna do about it? I'm drawing you guys as a scene from Twilight. Please send it to us when you are done. Thank you. Do an impression of Deku, please. Hi, I'm Deku, and I'm useless, and uh, I can't do anything right. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to be the number one hero, but really I kind of suck. That's it. That's all I got. Yeah, if you guys heard the shove, that was real. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm dancing. It looked like you just yeeted her across the room. It's because I did. I yeeted her into the door. Mickey did fly. Just went poof. And that's why this stream should be 18 and up. Yes, Nikki is okay. <laughs> Nikki's fine. Why are you daring me to stop drinking the Red Bull? Oh, is it because you guys want the stream to last longer? Do you want me to just like not drink it? I see what you're saying. All right, I'm gonna be up until five in the morning now anyway. It is 10.30 here, so. Do an impression of Mr. Aizawa. Oh, this looks like best genus. Oh no. I need a scarf for Mr. Aizawa. I don't know if I have a scarf around here. Okay, well, we'll do it lower for Aizawa and then we'll go best genus next. You have no work today. Let's go take a nap. Because that's what I'm going to do. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. But if you want best genus, which nobody has asked for, but I'm going to give you anyway. Apple bottom jeans, jeans, boots with the jeans. The whole club was looking at jeans. Thank you. That's what I got. Sleep is for the weak. Sleep is for those who have not drinking Red Bull. I started drinking this Red Bull about nine. I don't think that was a good idea, but I needed something to keep me going. So here we are. Ratchet or Rachel? I'm kind of confused. People just change the name all kinds of ways. Uh, Ratchet is a nickname. 
Rachel is my name, I guess. I'm thinking about going by Ray instead. I don't know, I haven't really decided yet, but if you want to start using Ray, then go for it. It could be interesting. There we go. Get them jeans! Boys with the jeans! Jeans! Bakugo, I, take you, I dare you to take off your jacket. I mean, if you want me to. Here we go. Jacketless. It is actually kind of warm. Like, it's a cold day today. At least there is that. But we're both in jackets for this. Because these are our Twilight cosplays. And this happens in um, Washington. We're not in Washington. Here we are. There you go. You guys happy now that I've taken off my jacket? Is this spicier for you? But guys, I want to drink it. It's so good. Okay, I do have another drink here next to me. We'll drink this instead. Will you impersonate the Baku squad? Here's your whore. Calvin, you're a whore! What is on <laughs> top of your head? Why'd you put metal on him? Oh, poor boy. Oh, poor boy. Look at him. He's got a little flower in his hair. And he's got a skirt on. He can hula. It's supposed to be like this. This is my horror. I don't remember why we're doing this, but I just remember that somebody said something about a Oh, I misread something as a whore. I'm so sorry, Calvin. You're really nervous about this. I would be too. <laughs> you look so sad. Well, yeah, he has a rubber band on his head. He doesn't deserve the rubber band. It probably hurts his head. It's a really stretchy rubber band. Oh, it's... Oh, oh. I mean, I'm a responsible... Interesting. Stupid parent. <laughs> oh, there's like a hair tie in there too. Wow. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's... Okay. Oh! Oh! I didn't notice his little chest thing. Why, Calvin, look at this. Oh. Calvin's a hoe now. He can hula for you. He can do TikTok dances too. Hello, hello. Aloha. If I back it up, is, is it, it fat, fat enough? enough? When I throw it back, is it fat enough? Watch me throw it back, 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 back. I'm so sorry, Calvin, but it's not your fault your moms can't read. That's true. Oh, yeah, you need some hooked on phonics for no, your you mom. Really okay, you want to go away now? You want to stay in your little, your little dress? <laughs> Enjoy your skirt, sir. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, mom. Oh, they wanted me to do impressions of all of Baku Squad. Okay. I feel like I need, like, props for all of this. That's manly as hell! Kirishima. Um, oh, are we playing charades? Yeah, okay. okay, okay. I want to see if I can guess which ones you're doing. Well, yeah, that's manly as hell. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, you can't dance? Mira! Yeah! Okay, um, who else? I try not to make these really obvious. I feel like I should try to make them you a little more subtle. You literally made fake horns with your hands. But, like, okay. Sarah. <laughs> That's all I got for Sarah. Um, uh, While you think about it, someone said do an imp impression of Mandela. Hi guys. I would uh, really like to see some tits. Hey ladies. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Hello. I like a sassafras tea, and by sassafras tea, I mean your. This is Manetta as well. I'm a snake. See, these are the balls on his head. There we go. I'm a slithery snake, and you're a bad bitch. Um. God, I'm trying to 
to think of one that's not like really obvious for this character. And we're just going to go for obvious. Kaminari. Uh, who else is in Baku Squad? Oh. <clears throat> I went to listen to rock music. Jiro! <laughs> and that's it. That's kind of most of Baku Squad, right? Yeah. Or there's also like. I'm Prince of Darkness. Tokayami. Yeah. Um. Oh! I really like karate. Ojiro's not a part of your group. Well, no, but now I'm just doing random Boku no Hero cos. What happened to your jacket? They dared me to take it off, so I did. Dirty. Dirty. Absolutely. They wanted to see my stripy blue shirt in all of its glory. I dare Deku to do a froppy impression. Do it, do it, do it, do it. She's kind of a goody two shoes, really. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember like what she sounds like. She's kind of like, hey guys, I really think that, you know, maybe you shouldn't break the rules and um <laughs> You sound like you're from New York. Hey guys. Hey guys. Would you like Would some you... pizza? That is kind of what she sounds like though. She's like Hey guys, uh, but a little like, girlier. Hey guys, would you like some pizza? <laughs> um, or maybe to stop breaking. The not, rules. not fully pinched. Maybe stop breaking the rules just a little. bit. There we go. <laughs> just an idea. Maybe don't get arrested. <laughs> Can we not get arrested on this beach trip? Maybe. Maybe let's not get arrested. Midoriya, please stop getting arrested. <laughs> That's what it is. There it is. This is the action and that was the voice. <laughs> two, two person. Two, two person, person impression because you can't do both things at once. <laughs> um, is Bakugo uh, the Baku bottom? Sometimes. No. You're the No, that we're talking about bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> um, Deku, I dare you to do impression of present Mike and Todoroki. Present Mike. Oh, well, present Mike is hard. I, I think I do a pretty good present Mike impression. Todoroki is like, mm. I'll do Todoroki first. Do it with Bella's Court. Wait. Do it Bella's Court. Bella's Court? Yeah. Do it present Mike impression. Announcing oh, Bella's Court. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, but I want to do Todoroki first because he's harder. Okay. Um, for Todoroki, he's very like. Hi, I'm Shoto Todoroki. I'm very soft and reserved, but really, I'll gladly stab a man with little to no prompting. Mm -hmm. My dad sucks. And then President Mike's like, oh, you want to do like Bella Swan's introduction? Yeah, Bella Swan's introduction. What would that be like? Bella Swan! Her quirk? Shield! <laughs> her quirk? Shield! She can shield herself or those around her! Yeah, 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 yeah. She can um, shield herself or those around her! Um, Todoroki is just like Midoriya. 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 It sounded like we were about to summon something. Midoriya! Midoriya! The candle just like whooshes. Chomp, 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 chomp. Kachan, I dare you to do an All Might impression. Oh god. <clears throat> I am here to drink some uh, Red Bull. But also, then there's Small Might. Which is, um, I'm very proud of you, Mizu <laughs> Mizuku. You just sound like Todoroki. It just sounds like Todoroki. I can't do All Might very well. All Might's kind of like more gravelly. He's like, like, hey, maybe you should uh, not get arrested at the convenience store, <laughs> young Midoriya. Mm -hmm. He's more like, he has more like ups and downs to his voice as opposed to Todoroki, who's like flatlined. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely more like, whoa, when he's normal. And then when he's not normal, he's like, 
Well, when he's now normal, but he's small might. Yeah. Just like, just a little bit deeper, but still some inflection in there. Mm. Bakugo, I dare you to say something nice about everyone in 1A. That's a long Ugh, list. That's a long list of people. Okay. You can make a generalized statement. I'll start with you. I'll start with you. I guess your freckles kind of make you more unique than how plain you are. Um, bird guy, uh, your darkness, I kind of rock with that. I like your taste in music. I'm gonna have to look up a list of everyone in one day. I have to pee. I'm gonna go pee. Please exit stage right. This is gonna be a long list, guys. Yeah, I'm talking about the time when I get back. Aoyama, there's nothing good about him. He's kind of creepy, honestly. But he, I guess he sparkles. That's just a fact. It's not a compliment. Mina actually can dance very well. Uh, Sue, she's a frog, and I guess that's useful sometimes. Ida's fast. Wow, you're so fast, dude. Uh, Pink Cheek, so Chaco. She's kind of sweet, I guess. Denki, uh... Your quirk is useful sometimes. But you're kind of an idiot. Hiroshima, your hair is not as shitty as I always think that it is, but, okay, you do a good job dyeing it yourself, I guess. Um, Koji, we don't know each other very well. He seems like he takes care of animals well. Rikaido, God. Um, you make good cake? Shoji, God. You have a lot of arms, and that's great. Duro, um, your music doesn't suck. Uh, Todoroki, yeah, I guess you're pretty powerful, but not as powerful as I am! Higakure, you're invisible. That's kind of cool, actually, and kind of useful sometimes. I'm sorry you're not visible when you want to be, though. Bakugo, you're the best guy in class! Um, Midoriya, yeah, I already said you. Hmm. Mineta, you're just a creep all around. There's literally nothing good about you. Yagirozu, you're really smart. Also, you have good taste in tea. Thank you, that is it. Um, somebody wanted me to do a, an Uraraka impression. Oh my god, like Deku! You know, Deku really actually means, um, something good. I don't know what it means, but it means something good. You're so nice, Deku. I don't have a crush on you, no! I dare Bakugo to say five things he likes about Deku, only while he's gone. So, his freckles are actually kind of nice. They're a little cute. Wait, you have to leave again. Freckles? I got five things. I've got four more things to say nice about you, and you have to leave. Okay. So your freckles are actually kind of cute. Um... Your mom is pretty nice, and so I guess you get that from her. Uh, you might be plain, but you're not ugly. All Might likes you, so there must be something good about you. I don't know if that's a compliment, but... You're actually really nice. I kind of hate that sometimes, but whatever. You are really nice. That's it. 
That's all I got. You can come back now! I don't know if you heard me. It's just me now. Just me and you guys. What nice things did you say about me, Kasha? You don't get to hear them. That's why I said them while you were out of the room. Nothing. There was something about my freckles. There was nothing nice about you at all. There was something about my freckles. There was nothing nice about you at all. Mm -hmm. There was nothing nice about you at all. You like my freckles? No. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Do you have freckles on the rest of you? Ah! <laughs> you would know. I dare Bakugo to say that Toto Deku is better than Baku Deku. Toto Deku is better than Baku Deku. Baku definitely has all just the Vibes ready in it. Take off the shirt. Take off the jacket. No. Somebody voted for you to do this earlier. Yeah. I don't like how this shirt looks without a jacket on. Change shirts. We're almost done with our stream. I still have that much Red Bull to go. And we've been going for two hours. And you're drinking water, not Red Bull. This isn't water. Oh my god. You want some? Oh, okay. Truth, Deku, where is my dad? He's in Taiwan. He works abroad. Imagine a T-Rex trying to make a bed. <laughs> Tiny arms. <laughs> Speak. <laughs> what are these? Well, T-Rex arms. Sue's arms? Sue's hands? Somebody has dared me to smile at you. I dare Deku to make fun of Kachom. I can't do that. Do it, nerd. No. Do it. I can't make fun of Kachom. Do it. I'm trying to look for something in my hair. Kachom's stupid, attractive. How dare you be so? You're not dumb. making fun of me. Try harder. Um. Come on, you can think of something. Well, no, I've got anything. You have nothing. You're nothing. You. We've known each other. Since we were five, and you have nothing you could possibly make fun of me about. No. How? Because you're the guy I like. I don't want to make fun of you. I'm not a bully, Cop Tom. When and where, Kachong? What am I drinking? It's clear, it's not water, and it's not Russian water. Someone asked me to do a Squidward impression. Do a Squidward impression, nerd. Spongebob. <laughs> I'm surprisingly good keep at Keep doing it, keep doing it. There are two things wrong with your theory. One, I hate you. Two, how can that be me when I'm standing right next to you? I drew Squidward on a live yesterday Aww. for the game that we were playing for their birthday. 
Oh. For Carissa's birthday. Yeah. You I drew Squidward. Squidward. I drew Squidward. Nobody got what it was. I drew Spongebob next to Squidward. People mm. started to get what it was, kind of. Mm. Yeah. What made you choose Squidward? No, it was it was a choice of three words, and one of the words was Squidward, so I chose Squidward. Oh. Yes. You don't get to choose the word that make you, you're making people guess. Somebody else chooses it for you, gotcha. and then you choose it. I was just like, I was like, where, what headspace were you, were you in to, to choose Squidward? Squidward? <laughs> it's like, I don't. It's it popped cool. up, and I was like, oh, I can draw Squidward. Nice. It was really bad. I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward. This was also me trying Squidward, to draw with, like, Squidward, my, I'm Squidward, my mouse. Squidward, I'm Squidward, 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 Squidward. How are it's you, vinegar, Mr. Squidward? After you, It is vinegar. Mr. That's exactly Squidward. what it is. No, after you, Mr. Mr. Squidward. Squidward. You're Squidward? He's Squidward? Well, I'm Squidward. Are there any other Squidwards I should know about? Meow. I am drinking I'm holy water. That's true. <laughs> so it's plum flavored. This is the guess I'll give you. This is longer than the last stream. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. That could do a Spongebob impression. Unless. I don't know. Spongebob's a hard one to do. I've never tried to do a Spongebob. You don't whisper that seductively in my ear. <gasps> do a Spongebob <laughs> impression. <laughs> um, doesn't he like laugh by like hitting his like the <laughs> Exactly what that and was. he goes, da. Da. <laughs> Did that sound like SpongeBob? Kind of. <laughs> Not at all. I'm so sorry. Is that like a goat? Like what? A goat. A goat? Ah. Ba. Da. Da. <laughs> was that a little more SpongeBob? Da. Da. No, can't do SpongeBob. Da. Da. Okay, da. more than more than that, a SpongeBob impression. Da. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anyone and we're all down here in the deep blue sea. Actually, if I were playing for one, F is for fire that burns down the whole town. U is for uranium bombs. N is for no survivors. When you play in, that's not what fun is all about. So we should redo this in Mafia and Deadly Cosplays. Obviously, I'm Plankton and yours. <laughs> F is for frolic through all the flowers. U is for you and Laylee. N is for nose picking. Cherry, some is head looking here with my best buddy. You know more of the song uh -huh. than I do. I can also sing the campfire song. C A M P F I R S O M G song. But can you sing it really fast? No. C A M P F I R S O G song. C A M P F I R S O G song. You do things you can't pass with them around the hub, baby. Just sing along. C A M P F I R S O G song. Squidward. Good. It'll help. It'll help. If you just sing it along. start breaking instruments by that point like don't at me about OG Spongebob I know too much because my Spongebob because in my mom's like my mom used to have like a she like went through like a few different mom vans and they all had or at least most of them had DVD players because she would get annoyed with my brother and I and so we had Spongebob like seasons one through six on DVD and they would always be in the car and she would just put on um the Spongebob so I haven't gotten DM'd that fanfic yet, unless it got sent to your Patreon comments. But I did get a photo. <gasps> Look, it's Genji. No, is that Gus? That's Genji. That's Genji. I use my hand. He's coming for you. I miss that. Is this a Genji? It's a baby. Look at him, he's a baby. He's a baby. There's so many videos. Are you gonna go see if you have that fan fiction? Oh no. I don't know. If somebody tried to send us a fan fiction, but they have not DM'd it to me. So DM I don't it know. to Rachel. My my notifications. You are gotta DM right it now. to me. My notifications are always flooded and they're That's super funny. flooded. Wins. That's funny. So many people are like, my parents didn't let me watch SpongeBob as a kid. I've heard that from so many people. It's a thing. 
Uh, Bakugo, what would you do if Icy Hot made a move on Deku? Punch him in the face. Touch on. Or I'd let him make a move. See what happens. Now you're into that. See what happens. Bakugo, I dare you to cuddle with Deku. I do that often enough. That's the video I got. Sweet. We're not any babies at all. No, I miss the babies. I miss them so much. I was your baby. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, we just sent a video to our friend. It was like one of my friends, like I don't really send videos to people, but for some reason like him and I always send videos to each other. Raise quirk and Spongebob laugh. Does that mean you guys liked my Spongebob laugh? I feel like it didn't sound like Spongebob. It sounded like Spongebob to me, but that definitely means it didn't sound like Spongebob to anybody else. Mm, apparently it killed brain cells, according to my mother. What? Spongebob. A lot of things kill brain cells. Yeah, I mean, most kids' shows are ridiculous, so... I think Spongebob just kind of made you gay. <laughs> I mean, that was the original concept. It was. And I mean, it was a good concept. Just didn't get, you know... Um, I dare you to hug Midoriya for three minutes. Dun, 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 dun. How long is three minutes? Till ten fifty-five? Yes. Fair. Are you gonna drink your drink, hot dog? No, I gotta hug you for three minutes. Hmm. I see. Hello, Britain. It's spelled Ray. R A E. Ray. R A E, not R A Y. For some reason, my brain registered as R A Y, and I was like, "Where did the Y come not from?" Not Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray. Not Rachel Ray. Cooking extraordinaire. <laughs> do a cat. Uh, wait. Do a what? Ugh. Cat Deku. <laughs> no. Dude, ears are expensive. I don't like stuff like that. Mm. I kind of look like a cat now. Yeah, it's, this is a cat pose. This- oh! <gasps> Nikki, you and I can remake a photo to that one TikTok sound of me with my cat. This is exactly the pose that I was holding my cat in a photo that I have of me as a child. This is it. This is the pose. My Harold? Yeah, your Harold. Right now. Look at you! You're so cute! <laughs> wow. Adorable! Mm. Mm, that is my cat. Well. Truth, what would it take to get either of you to join the League of Villains and fight against the system you used to believe in? Absolutely nothing, because I'm going to be the number one hero. I'm in a cat. <laughs> this is kid dick. <laughs> we have two minutes to go. <laughs> so floppy. Is this what it feels like to be Desiree? Yeah, this is exactly what it feels like to be Desiree. You're like, oh, look at you, Desiree. Oh, Desiree. Oh, Desiree. <laughs> That's what you like! Oh, just the most level the attention I give her, that feels great. Do you like this? Yeah, do it again. Oh, this is Ray! <laughs> just like this. <laughs> Your chair keeps slipping back more, even though I'm trying to just sit you up like a normal person, but no. This is fine. Adorable. Guys, I can't kiss until we're done with our two minutes. We have one more minute to go. I dare you to tell Kachan in a seducing voice, 
what your favorite thing is about him. After you're done being a, a cat. Oh, it's 10.35. That's human, it. Again. You're human again. <sighs> wow, being an animal is exhausting. I know why they take so many naps. Wow. What was I supposed to do? Um, tell me something. Oh, tell Kachan in a seducing voice what your favorite thing is about him. What's your favorite thing? <laughs> say it, Deku. Come on, say it. I like his smile. Oh, that wasn't seductive at all. How do I be seductive? That was just nice. You were like, I like your smile. I like your smile. No. I like your smile. No. Oh. Everybody's like, my cat's name is Harold. That's what my cat's name used to be. Press F to pay respect for Harold in chat. <laughs> my childhood cat. Hmm, F to pay respects for Harold. And oh, all Harolds so that much. have been or currently are. Should I just want to see be? a picture of him? Yeah, I just want to picture of Harold. I'll show you a picture of Harold anytime! Oh my god! You're so cute! Got some devil man going on here. Mm -hmm. Here's Harold! This is my cat! You know, he kind of has the same eyes as Calvin. Yeah, he does, right? He's so sweet. Oh, he all those F's drama? to pay respect. He was not drama, but he was... I mean, he kind of was drama. If you started hitting the can opener with anything, so we had an automatic can opener that went, Rrr, he would immediately think, This is my tuna, bitch! Give it to me! And he would come and he'd be like, Meow, 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 meow. Thank you all for your respect for my cat. He's very sweet. He was very sweet. I miss him so much. But now I have Calvin, so it's okay. Um, it was a long time ago. You can still miss your pets. I still miss my pets. Mm -hmm. The other day, my brother and I were texting, and we're like, we both in the same tree. She was our our family husky. She died before she should have. She had cancer. Angela Bean is Bean was Bean. a sweet dog. Press F to pay respects for Bean. Press F for Bean. Press F for all of the the pets that we had as a childhood pet. For Bean, Poopy, Kira, Bobo. We love you. Mr. We love you. I don't really like my Jordan. Happens to everybody. We love you. Zuko. I let my stupid roommate in fucking college take care of Zuko for a summer. And not only did she kill Zuko, but she threw away Zuko's tank and stuff. He was my beta fish. Zuko, Poseidon, Dorothy. I had so many beta fish. Zuko Not wasn't Zuko. yours. Zuko was yours. Zuko was mine. Zuko was my roommate. So my roommate's like, you take better care of Zuko than I do. And then I moved Preach. from that roommate to another. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Um, and so, like, she got Zuko, and then um, I took care of Zuko. And then um, I moved from that apartment, and she was just like, hey, you need to take the fish with you because you're the only one that takes care of him. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So, like, I would buy his water and food and shit. So I'm just like, he's more or less my fish by this point. Um, and then I left for summer and was asked my roommate who was staying for the summer. I was like, hey, can you take care of my fish? If not, I can try to get someone else to take care of my fish. And she's like, no, no, I got it. I got it. And then I come back, and she's like, so Zuko died. And I was just like, how? She's like, I don't know. I just came home from work and he was dead. And I'm just like, did you use the right water? Because he was on special water. She's like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, did you clean his moss ball? And she's like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, did you feed him? She's like, yeah. I was like, did you clean his tank every two weeks? And she's like, yeah. And I was just like, she didn't clean the tank every two weeks. 
It's like Zuko's not that hard of a fish to take care of. Yeah, he tries we'll to... We'll have a story in. time stream sometime where we can talk about this more. I mean, Zuko was kind of suicidal. He'd always try to go through the drain. I've never touched a fish before until that happened. So I was just screaming and, like, reaching my hand down the drain and was like... Why'd you put him in a place with a drain? No, I was moving... So I was like, in that... Because I had the tank... Yeah, and sometimes was, you gotta take him out. Yes. Yeah, and so I didn't think about it. After that, he never was near the, the drain. Why'd or you I would, put him in? I had him in a little cup. I had like a cup of fresh water yeah. and would take the scooper and scoop him and put him in the cup of mm -hmm. fresh water so I could clean his tank. So what drain was he near? The kitchen drain. Because Zuko's tank was in the kitchen. Because in my first apartment I had a townhouse. But it wasn't connected to the drain. No. Did you put him in the sink? I didn't. When I was transferring him from the thing to the drain, he hopped out oh. of the thing and he like did a big jump into the drain it was flopping around the drain, and I was like, no, 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 and trying to catch him, and I was like, what am I, what am I doing, huh, and I caught him, and I was like, ah, and I was like, fish, you're really weird in your hands, and then my brother roommate came downstairs, he was a lawyer practicing for the bar exam, and he's just like, I'm sad with like his big lawyer book, and he's like, what the fuck are you, and I was like, my fish, Hi, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Also, you. for those of you who are asking if you are allowed to draw us or not, yes. The answer is always yes. You can always draw anything, any of the costumes. Don't it doesn't dreams, matter. Dreams. Draw whatever the hell you want. I would love to see it. Please tag me in later. And that is all. Draw it, damn it! Stop asking me. Stop asking about drawing. You can draw whatever you want. I don't care when it comes to us. Thank you. That is all. They're calling the top ones. The top. Big Chungus F for Zuka. Yeah. Oh, why didn't I? Well, why wasn't I able to click that at all? Oh no. But yeah, Zuka was an angry fish. He didn't like anybody. He's really pretty. And every time someone saw him, they're just like, "What is wrong with your beta? I've never seen a beta have that much energy." I'm like, I don't know. He's he was an angry boy. Um, Bakugo, what would you do if you were quirkless? I would obviously be a police officer. Oh, really? Yes. I can see that. You'd be a mean officer, though. You'd get um, nervous. yes. I would be bad cop. You'd be good cop. Oh, you'd bad you'd cop, be good cop, buddies. the people. You'd yes. be cop buddies? Cop buddies. Let's go be cops all time. No, we're gonna be pro heroes! I'm gonna be number one, you're gonna be number two. I'm gonna be number one, and you're gonna be number 1.5. No, in your dreams. Can we both be number one? No. How about I be number one and Absolutely you be number not. one point seven? I am number one. No. You are number two. I'm gonna be number zero. Nope. Because that's technically higher than one. Number infinity. Number infinity. Touch on the even touch your Red Bull. I've been drinking the other thing. Gotcha. I gotta make sure both of them get drinking. Make it's drinking while we have our leftovers. No. Oh. Oh. Someone wants somebody to draw Nikki with Daddy Charlie? Please do. Make sure I have my extensions in. I think I look better with my extensions in. Mm, I dare Baku to admit that Deku is better than him, and Deku can be the number one hero. You're not better than me. That wasn't the dare. God, John. Sucks to suck! Suck this! No! Suck this! I'm not drinking moonshine. You've all not guessed it correctly yet. Thank you. It's clear. It's moonshine. straight. Oh, if you were drinking that much moonshine. It's moonshine. not vodka oh, or moonshine. It's not moonshine. It's, it's plum flavored, and you've not guessed.
guessed it yet. It's not... Does Nikki want to end the stream so she can make up with Rachel? Oh, I think Nikki, Nikki actually wasn't. just wants to eat leftovers. I did earlier. I'm going to and now I'm lightly, just numb inside. I'm going to saute up some um, tomatoes and add them to my fried can rice. I add tomatoes? I have more tomatoes for you, my fried rice. Somebody wanted us to flirt earlier, and this is it. Oh, I would really like tomatoes <laughs> I, I in my, tomatoes in my Thai fried, fried rice. rice. I saw some tomatoes. I thought of you, and I was going to give you the tomato. Well, at least one. At least one tomato. I want to have tomatoes. <laughs> it's not tequila. It's not... It is plum sake, Devin Sky. You won the game. It's plum no. sake. No, it's wait. It's not sake even. Sorry, you didn't win the game. False alarm. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's actually water in a cup. Nothing. Wow, it's water in a cup. Watch out. Watch out. It's not Sprite. It's not bubbly at it's, all. It's. It comes in a bottle. It's not bubbly, and it's plum flavored. It's plum flavored. Soda. Brandy? No! <laughs> no! <sighs> um. <laughs> this is weird. I am Captain. She made the good. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how that's moving. It is holy water, you are correct. Definitely holy water. Are you guys aware that white wine doesn't look clear? Have you ever seen white wine before? I've never seen white wine and Batman in the same place before. <laughs> Plum flavored water. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Yes. It's crystal light. It's crystal light. It's actually it's plum lacroix. <laughs> Lacronics. Lacroques. Lacrocs. Lacrocs. Plum schnapps. <laughs> you guys are trying so hard. Oh, Haven underscore got it. Haven underscore snaps for Haven underscore. You got it. I'm not gonna say what it is out loud, but you did well get done. it. It's crystal light. It's crystal light water. <laughs> it's water. It's plum flavored water. It's kachan. It's kachan. It's ka It's plum flavored kachan. It's plum. <laughs> it's flavored water. It. It's flavored. Uh, Manetta in a cup. Shh. That's exactly what it is. No, actually, the grape flavored stuff is Nikki's. That is green grape. Nikki, I dare you to come up with a song that describes the stream. Describe the stream. Two, three, four. Ah! I'm gonna be right back. Ah! Ah! The stream is chaotic. Nothing really gets done. Sometimes we read fan fiction or do some dumb stuff. I'm usually pretty good with making up songs on the fly, but right now it's way past my bedtime. Bold of you to assume I even have a bedtime. I'm an adult, and honestly, time is just an illusion, maybe a social construct. I don't even know. We started out this live stream trying to read fanfic, but now we're doing truth or dare. <laughs> Maybe I should write for Broadway or go into musicals, but please don't ask me to write a playwright because I'm really bad at that. I'll write whatever screenplay you want me to. College professor, please don't make me write a screenplay. I'm really bad at that. And now the song is continuing because I don't know what else to do. Kachan is gone, maybe to take a poo. <laughs> oh. Who wants to kill Manetta? Maybe it's me or you. All we can agree on is 
He should be Grey Poo. <laughs> the voice of an angel, not really. I was forced to take choir for 13 years so I can sing um, better than I think the average human, but I'm no, by no means a singer. <laughs> no, no, I'm really not, guys. Um, do the writing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like it. We made like an entire musical about Calvin killing the president. Um, and then he blamed it on the Yorkie next door because there's a Yorkie next door that's really annoying and he'll get into, um, oh, I can't sing Toss a Coin to the Witcher now. God damn it, he's back. <laughs> what were you doing while I was gone? I was singing songs. Toss a coin to your witch. <laughs> Oh, plenty. You can do that on Twitch! Oh, oh, oh. A toss a coin to your Somebody wants you to cosplay K from Kiss Him Not Me. Which one's that? Kai? K? Kai? I think it, yeah, K -A -I? it's K-A-I? If it's the purple haired girl, that's who I want to cosplay. I'm trying really hard not to destroy my mouth. Yeah, I think that's the name chick. I don't think that is. Toss a coin to your witch. Oh, oh no, it is! Plenty. So, Mickey's oh, gonna cosplay K Kai. Oh, Shh, we're talking! Mickey's gonna cosplay yeah. Kai. Lick my hand all you want. And I'm going to cosplay... The hot lesbian. The hot lesbian! At least we don't, because we don't pay attention to names. I'm hitting... I'm, I'm looking for it now. Justin Brenner. At the edge of the world. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, chicken, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, chicken, chicken nuggets. Who here thinks Chick-fil-A should have some spicy nuggets with a do you wanna, do you wanna, mustard dipping sauce? Do you want to watch Haikyuu? Um, you haven't watched it, right? Is that that one guy really likes? It's the volleyball anime, yes. I'll try it. Okay. Shima? Chicken nuggets. Shima Nishima? Chicken nuggets. Is that the girl? Chicken nuggets, chicken, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, Shh, chicken, chicken nuggets. Stop singing to about chicken nuggets. Chicken, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets are going to hell because we are under their nuggety. Yes, Shima style. Nishima is her name. Shima. I'm gonna be cosplaying Nishina. Shima Nishina. Kiss, kiss, fall in love. Hey! 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 I see you come. I'll watch you go. <laughs> you never seem to leave me though. So is this love. Or Fate? Fate Making me crazy. <laughs> Um, Nikki's never watched Haikyuu. I've watched, um, a good portion of Haikyuu, but not all of it. But we might watch it together. Do you want to watch that instead of Beastars? I would rather watch pornography in front of my parents than watch more Beastars. So we're going to watch Haikyuu next. Thank you guys for giving <laughs> us the suggestion. Maybe Nikki will finally want to cosplay it. I think Nikki would be a great Nisha... Noya. What's that one look like? Uh, the black spiky hair with the little yellow part in the middle. Huh? I want to do man bun. I'll show you. Chicken nuggets, chicken, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, chicken, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, chicken, chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Ew. Ew. You don't like him? Oh. No, he's so cute! Oh. <sighs> Nikki doesn't like Nisha Noya. All your dreams have been crushed. Oh. They want us to cosplay Hinata and Kageyama. Okay, can I see those two? Yes. Hinata? Hinata? Okay, the little orange one's a bit more my Yeah, speed. the little orange one is who they want you to cosplay. Okay, I'll do the orange one. They're the main ship of the show. Yeah, I like these two. They're cute. Oh, but I like Kageyama! He's ugly. He's ugly. 
I'm not cosplaying. Not yet. Kageyama. I'm sorry. Nishinoya. I like Nishinoya. You ugly. Not Hanada and Kageyama. I don't like Kageyama. Ugly. Kageyama! Look at him! He's so boring. He's like Haru. <gasps> they think you'd make a really good Hanada, though. Aaron cosplays Hanada. Which one's that? You want to just call Orange haired one. Orange, yeah, he's cute. I like him. Hanada is orange haired guy. That's who Aaron cosplays. Misha cosplays Nishinoya. Amaya cosplays him. Kageyama. I don't like the one you showed me first. You don't like Nishinoya? It's ugly. Okay, Nishinoya's a boyfriend, though. Looks like he'd be a neck beard when he grows up. He's so cute though! He's a little man bun! Yes! Uh, yes! You don't like him! Is Kenma his name? No. Azum? I don't remember his name. Man bun. I'm a man with very specific taste. Midoriya Chan called Katsuki Kun by his full name. Katsuki Bakugo. Bakugo Katsuki? Bakugo Katsuki. Do the fucking dishes! No. Kachan? I cook. I clean. I pay the bills. Bakugo sing Bakugo by Camille. <laughs> bitch, I'm Bakugo, but you know I'm about to pop, but you know I'm about to blow! Pew pew! Uh, oh, baby, Desiree. You're gonna. This is Desiree. Oh. But. <laughs> Why are you being Desiree? Nishinoya has the same voice actor as Bakugo. That's an odd fact! But it kind of makes sense, honestly. I dare you two to be r Oh, Asahi! Yes, Asahi is the guy I like. Thank you. That's his name. I love him. I want to cosplay him. I wanted to cosplay him for forever, but I want Nikki to be Mishinoya, but she doesn't like Mishinoya. Maybe if I watch it and I like the character, but just based off the of design. Okay, but I don't think you'll like orange haired guy as a character. He's kind of like the Deku of the series. But I didn't like, like worse. Deku. But no, but worse. worse. He's like useless. So Deku. He's actually a Deku, not Deku. Deku's kind of useful. Yeah. Kageyama's just a cold-hearted dick. Oh. Nishinoya is like fiery and passionate and short. Mm. And he's like, FUCK YOU! That's what he does. Maybe he's like Edward Albright. Maybe I do my own interpretation. Nishinoya sometimes has his hair down. Oh, he just looks so ugly. Oh. How dare you? I dare. Oh, I'm here with unpopular you. opinions. Team unpopular Charlie. opinions. Team, Team Charlie. Charlie. Nishinoya's ugly. Nishinoya's ugly. <laughs> villain Deku for two minutes. Somebody dares you to I've be Villain Deku. Two Get minutes. that off my name! You've never played Villain Deku? Not once in my life. <clears throat> what was the CMV that we did? Um. <laughs> no. Raise me Sorry guys, we're talking about Haikyuu. Nikki hasn't seen it yet, I've seen parts of it. Raise we're gonna watch it next though, probably. Because everybody keeps talking about it. Deku, does Bakugo smell like caramel? Yeah. Yeah. Truth or dare, Deku? Dare. Dare for Deku! Thoughts on Danganronpa? We've never watched it. I have a lot of friends that cost me fun we should watch it eventually. Raise me up. Everybody wants me to sing like I'm Bakugo. I don't know all of the words out of my memory. I'd have to look at the song. What's your Twitch? So our Twitches, our YouTubes, our Instagrams, and our TikToks are all under the same usernames as we have. I'm Spotty, S-V-A-T-T-I-I. -T -T -I. 
This is Mishkui. You know what their username is if you're on this YouTube right now. The TikTok one has two eyes, and that's the only difference. Thank you so much. So you guys can follow us on Twitch if you'd like. Sometimes we stream on there, actually. I'm trying to get better at streaming on Twitch, but there's like a whole, there's a whole thing that we don't know about. Are you okay? What are you doing down here just singing? Just down here? Why are you singing it down there? Oh, you want me to lift you up? Yes. Is that what you were trying to say? Yes, I was singing it. Your chair keeps slipping, though. Cosplay Naruto. Yes. Naruto! Naruto! Somebody sent me the little headband thing in the mailbox. No. Yes, that's the only way I'd ever cosplay Naruto if somebody sent me the cosplay. Oh, and Deku's down. I'm not gonna fall on this stream, I promise. I promise, no, mama. She called me and was like, what are you doing probably on public television? <laughs> what are you doing on public television? <laughs> People suggest that we play the game Danganronpa instead of watching the anime. Mm -hmm. We could play the game. I don't right? like playing games. Play it on Twitch? Mm. Maybe. Maybe not. Um... Fun fact, Deku was the voice actor, the same voice actor that was the short boy in Kiss Him Not Me. We already knew this! We guessed it while we were watching Kiss Him Not Me, which is really good, by the way. Um, I dare Bakugo to serenade Deku romantically, though the song could be anything you want. I don't sing, so no. Hanada isn't useless. He's the main reason why they want to, went to nationals. Kageyama is the king. Um, without him, Hinata's useless, Noshinoya is the lead rogue, he's one of the reasons why they won. I don't know enough about Haikyuu, I'm so sorry. You're making the Haikyuu leaves upset. Yes, I am. Um, villain Deku! I've never, like, played him. You have, in a, in a full video. Oh, we've never done a villain Deku sketch before. You know how they said I w they wanted me to come up with a sketch earlier? It's different for a music video. That's true. I need time to prepare my villain deck. Cosplay Naruto, please. Again. <laughs> Somebody needs to send me a Naruto cosplay, and that's the only reason I will cosplay Naruto. No, Actually, no, I, I want to be Naruto. Naruto I be Sasuke. Sasuke. I want to be Sasuke. Somebody send me a Sasuke cosplay. No. It's the only way it's gonna happen. I've never watched Naruto in my life. Maybe if I have a Sasuke cosplay, I will finally watch Naruto. I got this much more Red Bull to go, guys. Oh, is that what happened? So for those of you asking us if we've played games, we're not gamers. So no, we haven't played any of the games. I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but it's true. I've played Monopoly. <laughs> I dare you to tell Deku is waifu. You're welcome. I dare Deku to sit in Bakugo's lap for five minutes. What if I don't want him to sit on my lap? Tell him shit. Hey, hey, hey. There. Um, on a scale of 1 to 1,000, how attractive is Nikki? Negative 7,000. 1,000. Ooh, get your eyes, too. Shh! Shut your face. This is my question, not yours. Um, Bakugo, I dare you to tell us what the clear drink was. Somebody guessed it! You guys just didn't pay attention. Crystal Light! No, it's not crystal light. <laughs> it was something plum flavored. <laughs> crystal light. It was plum flavored. S. Crystal light. J. It was crystal light. No, you won't. Crystal light. Ah! 
I dare Bakugo to cuddle with Deku in his arms. Uh, aren't I already doing that? Cosplay Sharpay and Gabriella. Wait, who's Sharpay and who's Gabriella? I'll gladly do either role. I thought you wanted to be Sharpay. I'll do Gabriella. She mm. whiny bitch, but. <laughs> but who's a better blonde? I think you can make a good blonde, though. And there's Bakugo. And mm. two boobs. Somebody recommended Kakaguri, which we've already seen. I love Kakaguri. It's wonderful. Thank you very much. I want to cosplay the girl. I also want to cosplay the girl. And so we're at a standstill right now. Who's going to cosplay the guy? Uh, no one, because he's lame. How do you think Todoroki is going to react when he finds out Endeavor is not his father? What? What? You've been reading further in the manga than we have? Because I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know that Bakugo is an angry Pomeranian? This is true. Really? Da -da 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 -da. That's <laughs> Um, Bakugo, I dare you tell us. Stop no, asking that. I already that. told you. Okay. Dreary, please. On Harry Potter. Harry, Harry Potter. Uh, singing a song all day long at Hogwarts. I found the source of the ticking. It's a pipe bomb. Yay! Yay. And Derek is going to kiss Deku six times. Voldemort, Voldemort, oh Voldemort. That was eight. You're welcome. Yeah. Boy. Oh. Is it fat enough? If I throw it back. Is it fast enough? Are you okay? Are you gonna fall? You're not gonna fall. Wait, has it been several minutes yet? I forget how long you were supposed to be here. Who's more protective? What are you even doing with your mouth? <laughs> I don't know. Roy Ed, question mark heart? Roy? Yeah. Wait, no, what? <laughs> bitch Roy Ed! Bitch, that's Roy! Bitch, that's a win! Oh, that's a fun comic, the villain waifu Deku. I read, I read that. Rachel reads fan fiction. I read fan comics. <laughs> I need the pictures. Rachel, are you protective over Nikki at times? No. Does it seem like it to you? You've never been protective over me. Since when am I not? I mean, no one hits on me, so... I'm the dude that comes out with the baseball bat oh, when you're not. scared of something. Oh, well, yeah. That's true. But I also like being in the bed crying because I'm like, the ice machine made to sleep. Let me go check on it! <laughs> <laughs> when is the next accidental series video? We're in the middle of a pandemic. Stop asking. We can't have our friends over to film. Thank you. So it takes like six people to come over to make those, so... Have you cosplayed Maid-sama? No. We've never watched it. I think you're on your own chair now. I think the no. dare has ended. No. Mm -hmm. oh. Hi, I'm Mexican and I love your videos, even if they're still in English. Don't know much English, but I try to understand them. But I still see them. Oh, thank you. Muchas no. gracias. That smells like gasoline. Gasolina? <laughs> it's Red Bull. No, and something special. No, mm. oh, um, we are you are doing, doing a live stream next week? We're doing a live stream tomorrow! And if you want week. to join us. And next week. If you want to vote for it next week, join the Gucci Grimling game. Is it going to be on Friday again? Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to do a live stream every single Friday until quarantine's up. quarantine is over. So it could be for the next several months. Who knows? Um, but we are going to also do a live stream tomorrow and live stream randomly whenever we want to. But the scheduled ones are always on Friday. And they're at mostly going to be at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And tomorrow we are going to do a live stream at 8 p.m. Yeah. At 8 p.m. We're going to be doing Bella and Edward cosplays in my hero uniforms because nobody voted for it this time. So we're going to do it anyway because we wanted to. But this is what you guys voted for, so we're like, yeah, so this is what we're in. Did. So yes, we're going to do a live stream tomorrow. We're going to do a couple more fan fiction readings of things that would be fun. And then we'll just answer some questions. Yes. After. Yes. Maybe do some truth or dares, but I doubt you guys have truth or dares for Edward and Bella. I don't know. Maybe you do. Mm-hmm. If you guys want to vote for specific streams or anything like that, go to Mishkali's Patreon. There are many a poll, usually to the... Uh, writer tier. Writer tier uh, and up. Cosplayer tier. Cosplayer tier and up. Yeah. So if you get on the cosplayer tier or up, you'll probably see those polls and be able to vote on what we're wearing or what we're doing and things like that. If you want to request a specific, like... 18 and up one, or like specific characters or something like that, always feel free to leave a comment. Especially on Patreon, most of those comments get seen because there's less of them. Yes. Also, I'm so sorry guys, there's two of us and many of you. And we love you all. We want to see your suggestions, but we can't read every single comment under this Well, one. a lot of times, I mean, I'm at least able to read a lot of the comments, it's just hard to respond to all of yes. them. So I kind of respond to the ones. So if you want something, just tell us, but, you know. Understand, there's only so many things you can do. Mm -hmm. Also, for our more, like, not safe for work streams, we're probably going to do that on Rachel's Patreon. Um, so, like, for the uh, the Black Butler one, we're just going to keep on mine for this time, just because that's what I've promised everybody. Um, and even then, for that not safe for work, it just means, like, we make it out, and that ship can be not, cool, can be not cool for, for some, some people. people. So it's just, like, unless you literally are, like, really there for it you know we're just trying to like make sure whoever we're gonna like do there. it on the lowest tier but yeah. like it's not gonna be a public one per se yeah um and so from after the black Bl butler one black butler or whichever one wins it's between black butler well black butler's only one it's black butler or full metal right now and if black butler ones we're gonna do a not safer work one but that's just gonna be on patreon to make sure that whoever's there wants to be there and no one accidentally comes across it or is whatever by it um those from there on out will be on rachel's patreon which will be switched to an 18 plus so we can do our 18 plus content pa patreon 18 plus content on rachel's patreon because mine's just i have too many too many uh young gremlins young gremlins and like my my content's not really that 18 plus and even then like it's what we do no. is, yeah what we do is usually not 18 plus but it's just like we just want to make sure that the people there are there yeah. because they choose to be there. Yeah, not because they've accidentally found something or whatever. So, um, no. Well, anyway, that was a random. <laughs> Shoto is O blood type. Child Endeavor is A B. A B blood type can't produce O. But what if his mom's O? Or maybe the creator doesn't know how blood typing works. <laughs> I think the creator cares more about that than anything. Uh, quick question. Where are cheap Dobby Jack... Oh, I have no idea. I'm so sorry. What? Cheap John... I don't cosplay Dobby. I don't know anything about cosplaying Dobby. No, I don't want to click on the news! right now get off news get off get off get off get off i don't want the news <sighs> i'm glad you guys have been enjoying the live streams by the way i know there's not a lot to do right now it's like a shit time <laughs> and you guys need entertainment and we need something to do in all honesty we can't have anybody over to film things or hang out with even so it's really nice to have these live streams going um, sometimes we'll live stream on different platforms other than YouTube. Sometimes we'll live stream on TikTok or Twitch and things like that. If you guys let us know what your favorite 
live streaming platform is. We're kind of more likely to live stream there. But we haven't fully decided which ones our favorites are. Sometimes it's Instagram. We don't know. Tomorrow's live is going to be here on YouTube. Um, we will be in uh, Bella and Edward cosplay, if you haven't heard already. And it will be very fun. It'll be 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, so it's the same time that we've been live streaming on Fridays, basically. But tomorrow instead, on Saturday. It'll be very fun. We're going to read some more fan fictions. We're going to be in Bella and Edward cosplay. In it's gonna, UA uniforms. In UA uniforms. It's going to give us an excuse, finally, to make some more Bella and Edward content on TikTok. Because we're, no one we're wants total nerds. Nobody wants Edward and Bella content, but we're going to give it to you anyway. Obviously, Nikki's going to do Bella. I'm going to do Edward. It's going to be very fun. Obviously, I need Edward. Yes. Somebody asking, again, what's the Twitch? Everything that we own is under the same usernames. All the Mishkali stuff and all the Spotty stuff is ours. If you search it, you should probably be able to find it. If you can't find it, go to our Instagrams or the description videos, and normally there's a link somewhere with it, the information. Mm. Why does Bakugo sound like a grandma? Because I am a grandma. Because I'm not doing the voice right now, it's just my normal voice. Um, <laughs> somebody's giving me the whole chorus of uh, the Bakugo song by Camille. I do actually love Camille's. All of his songs are amazing. Mm. Mm. Twitch is the most user-friendly, but I think YouTube is the most accessible. Twitch actually seems like the most streamer-friendly, like you can add a lot of things to it. So I kind of agree with that. Once we figure out Twitch more, there might be more live streams on Twitch, honestly. Um, somebody really, really wants us to cosplay Clants for a live stream. Maybe. We could do that eventually. Vote for it. That's a thing we could do. There'll be weekly votes, so. There will be. We'll add that to our weekly polls on the Patreon. Patreon. Um, let's see. I dare you to listen to the Pickle song. I don't want to hit copyright flag. What is the Pickle song? I'm concerned. Mm. No, we're not, we're not going to play it. I don't want to get flagged. No, we're not. Can you please do an Oron High School Host Club? Okay, you guys would have to vote for what characters we're doing for that. I'm gonna be I honest. I do Harvey. Do you do Harvey? For some reason, I thought you did somebody else. I think you'd be a good Kyoya. We could do Kyoya and Tamaki. I guess I could That'd try. That'd be fun, right? I could try. I don't know if I'd be a good Kyoya. I think you would be a good Kyoya. I think you're a cute Haruhi, but I think you'd be a good Kyoya. Who do you guys think Nikki should be for or on High School Host Club? Haruhi or somebody else? Tell us in the comments. Um, when are our gay ice boys coming back? Um, well, there is a poll for them to maybe come back, but My Hero is winning right now. My Hero is just really popular right now. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. It takes over most of the polls because of it. And so, you know. <laughs> it's not wrong. I don't know who sent this to us, but it says, so the picture um, of, of Harry Potter Daniel Radcliffe says Rachel and Nikki at the beginning of the streams. And the other one is Rachel and Nikki at the end of the streams. <laughs> Thank you. It's true. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's very true, That's very actually. Funny. That's pretty funny. Molly Jane. Molly Jane was inspired to make this. That's so funny to me. Quality That content. was hilarious. <laughs> I just really love that image of Daniel Radcliffe. Nikki and Rachel at the beginning of the stream. So good. Hello. Hello. And then us at the beginning of the stream in bathrobes, just like, ah! 
<laughs> oh, this is cute. He's ugly. <laughs> Thank you guys for all the doodles. I do see a lot of them, actually. This is so cute. Thank you guys for sending all these messages, by the way. Yeah, I really love reading all you guys' messages after the lives. I try to respond to them as much as you can, as much as I can. Um, can you do Harry? Well, Rachel cosplays James, which is pretty close to Harry. I do cosplay James, but you also cosplay James. Yeah. So who I'm is kinda, Harry and who is I'm, Draco? I surrendered James to you, though. I Dude. enjoy being Lily more. I mean, I enjoy you being Lily, too. Oh, why? Just because it's fun. Yeah, it's also... You I, got me into Marauders, 100%. I've never been into Roma... Marauders. Roma Marauders. Marauders. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I'm sorry. Yes. Put on romantic music in the background. We, I, I mean, we can to some extent. Hold on. <laughs> Royalty free romantic music. Can you please? I don't want to risk it. Music for wedding. I don't want to risk it. YouTube's so touchy, please don't. Fair enough. Yeah. It might just end our stream. Sorry, guys. Do a corner of Rhapsody and Virgin. You're a funky donkey! Finally, some funky fucking donkey! Fucking donkey! Finally, some fucking delicious food. You! 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 You're out! You're fired. Nikki Harrow, Mint, Harry, and Mint Rachel Draco. We should have a poll on who's Harry and who's Draco on Instagram. Okay. We'll both post one and see Harry or Draco I for both to of us. Be Draco. Well, you just want to be a very Potter musical Draco. Though. Did somebody say Draco, Draco Malfoy? What do you want, Draco? What do you want, Draco? We will do Draco. transfer. Transfer to pig farts. Pig farts is on Mars. Rumble roars a lion. Who can talk? Who can talk? Um, do an Aoyama impression. Aoyama. Monami, I cannot stop twinkling. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, would you cosplay as Rin and Haru from Free? I don't... I cosplay Rin, or I did. I don't like Free. I like 50% off. I cosplayed Rin forever ago, and then Nikki botched the wig and turned it into Karashima for one My Hero video. And then we just <laughs> never did that again. So that really, that wig needs to be thrown away! Thrown away! <laughs> Well, it went from Ren to Maka's dad to botched Hiroshima. Yeah, it did. <sighs> what a day, what a day. Um, there was some comment up here that I was going to read. I don't remember what it was. Almost a four hour stream. You damn right, though. I'm ready for my leftovers. I'm still drinking my Red Bull. Tomatoes. I'm not gonna lie, they told me to drink it slow. I mean, that's better for you. Yeah, the stream was like, STOP DRINKING IT! We want this to keep on going. This is how much more drink I got going. It's not very much. I could finish it in one gulp, but I won't. Slorp, slorp. <laughs> slorp, slorp. Slorp. Do not slorp, slorp in my ear! Ah! Ah, no! No, 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 no. Somebody's sending love from New Zealand. Thank you, New Zealand. That's crazy. Stop slurp slurping in my ear. Stop putting your hands on my mouth. Somebody also wants us to do an Attack on Titan stream. We met at a con. What cosplays would you want to see from Attack on Titan? Because I love cosplaying Han. Yeah, who do you guys want to see from Attack on Titan? Hanji, Levi, Erwin, Erwin mm -hmm. Aaron, Armin. I've always wanted to cosplay Armin. Do not have any wings? Little Armin. known secret. I want to cosplay adult Armin. Older Armin. Though he doesn't... No, he does make it that far. 
I'm not caught up with it at all, actually. It's okay, I picked you up. Um, it's Nicholas Cage's sweat. What is? Sounds good, though. Will there be an Easter video? I don't know. Levi and Arvin! Somebody voted for Levi oh, and Arvin! Be Whoa, guys, that's... <laughs> that's so random. Uh... Armin! Levi! Oh my god, Armin! Yes! Attack on Titan, Levi and Aaron. Uh... Aaron and Levi. Sailor Moon livestream! That would be too pure, guys. Too pure. Who would you want to see from Sailor Moon? Sailor Moon and who? I could do anybody, but sometimes I do Mamoru and sometimes I do Jupiter. Oh, but I can do anybody. The Hitachi Twins! Do the Hitachi Twins! Says somebody. Um, I don't think we actually look enough alike to do the Hitachi Twins, mm. to be honest. Kirishima and Tetsu Tetsu. We don't have the wings for that. <laughs> um, Levi and Aaron, Neptune and Uranus. Levi and Aaron? <laughs> oh, Aaron! I, I thought it was a combination of Armin and Aaron for a second. Yes. Levi and Aaron, though, okay. Neptune and Uranus, that would actually be fun. Sure. Oh, Levi and Armin is a ship. Ugh, you nasty. Armin and Erwin is a ship. That's fine. Um, I know. Usagi and Mamoru, Levi and Aaron, Levi and Aaron. Corey and who? Connie and Kirsten. Yeah. Full Metal Brotherhood. <laughs> You want us to do Full Metal Alchemist cosplays. Full Metal Alchemist. Um, if you were Sebastian, who would you pick, Ciel or Grell? Huh? If I was Sebastian, who would I pick, Ciel or Grell? For what? I don't know. Just for anything. <laughs> Ciel. I want that soul, though. Kickball? Because <laughs> you don't want Ciel for kickball. <laughs> I don't want Ciel for kickball at all. Uh, Levi and Aaron. Everybody really seems to want... Armin and John. You want to be Jean? Oh, shit. But you would be, because I want to be Armin. I don't want to be Jean. You want to be Armin and I'll be no. Jean? If it's between, yeah, if it's, if it's between those two, I guess, yeah, I'd prefer to be Armin uh -huh. than Jean. Because Armin's gay. Um, Yuri and Victor! That would be fun. Yuri and Yuri is also a choice. Oh, Yuri being abused by Yurio. Yeah, basically. For three hours. Uh, yeah, Uranus and Neptune, Yuri and Victor, and Aaron and Levi seem to be the top trending things. Will either of you marry me? I don't know you. I'm afraid of commitment. Yes. <laughs> Yes. I'm a comedian. A comedian. A comedian. You could be a comedian, Ted. Go a comedian. Oh my god. Mirio x Tamaki. Uh, I, I mean, I don't you would be Tamaki. I, I would wanna, be Mirio. I don't want to cosplay that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Usagi and Tuxedo Mask. Yurio and Odebeck. Yuri and Odebeck. One of the obscure beef and cheese. Mm -hmm. All right, Shitsuo and Denki. We do have a Denki wig. We don't have a Shitsuo wig. No. Drug on the experiments on Aaron. Uh, definitely an option. We could Ymir definitely do that. Historia. Ooh, do I still have my Ymir wig? Mm -hmm. We could do Ymir Historia. Some gays! The Hoki and Soba. Naruto headband. Do what you want. Do you want it? Yes. That's it. The relationship is cancelled. Nikki is afraid of commitment. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki is afraid of commitment. Oh, Denki and Cheese. Yeah, everybody really wants Denki and Cheese though. Um. Yep, it seems like. 
uh, Aaron and Levi, Roy and Edward, Uranus and Neptune, or... I want to I want also be a bit strange, though, Uranus and Neptune. It would just be us fucking around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hanada and Kageyama, once we've watched it, have we? So. Todoroki X Kettle. It's just an entire stream of Todoroki staring at a kettle, disassociating. <laughs> and I'll be, bla- I'll be blaring my own version of Get Money, yeah, yes. yeah, Get Money, yeah, yeah. It's getting better. Okay. We'll have, we'll have votes about these things that you guys have been suggesting. I'm a gorgeous. Yeah, submitting your fanfiction is free. We'll take your fanfiction. With the press? (laughs) Nikki is Denki and Rachel is Shinsuo. Mm. They want you to be Denki. I mean, you do kind of have Denki energy sometimes. Being a crackhead. Victor and Bakugo. <laughs> what? Victor and Bakugo. Sure. Oh, cosplay human versions of Target and Walmart. <laughs> yeah. I'll be Walmart, you'll be Target. You're welcome. We could do this. Patreon exclusive Target and Walmart <laughs> Target and Walmart, Luna. <laughs> Cosplay each other. An option. Mm, the body of the gun. Yes. Being the new symbol for Walmart, you're welcome. I would absolutely do that. Ow. I'm so sorry. I said ow, and yet I hit the computer with my cup instead of me. Sebastian. Ciel and Sebastian. We are going to do Ciel and Sebastian. It's going to be on a Patreon exclusive live stream. So go join one of our Patreons, and we'll share the link or something. I don't know. Probably a low tier. Okay, um, Pepsi and Coca-Cola. I don't know who would be who, though. It's not like one of us likes one of them over the others, but I do really like Coca-Cola. But I don't mind Pepsi. Mm. Ooh, Banana Fish! We haven't watched it yet. You guys think I should be the blonde one, really? That's surprising, actually. Bungo Stray Dogs. I have actually watched a few episodes of Bungo Stray Dogs, and I kind of like it. I tried to get Nikki to watch it, though, and she was like, eh. She wasn't super into it. Hey, guys, I've been crushing on this girl for a couple months now, and I was wondering if you guys have any advice on how to ask her out. Are you certain that she's also of the girl variety? Like, is that what she's into? Because if that's what she's into, then just ask her out. Just, like, ask her if she wants to go see a movie or something. You know? Like, find something that you might have common interest in. If you're not exactly sure what it is, just see, like, try to gauge what it is before you ask. Maybe bring up something be like, oh, hey, I'm really excited to see the new Harley Quinn movie. And then... When she's also like, yeah, I love the Harley Quinn movie. Be like, we could go see it together. 
That's how it works. Or you could just be like, hey, you want to go get lunch sometime? That's a thing. That's a thing you could do. Drink the Red Bull. I'm this boring, guys. I have a tiny bit left. Um, if you want to submit a dreary fanfiction, I would wait until we're going to do a dreary fanfiction reading and then submit it. Just keep an eye out for it. Cosplay human Red Bull? Absolutely, I would have wings and be a bull at the same time. Okay, so the person who said that we should cosplay the two single ladies from Mamma Mia. We have been thinking about cosplaying from Mamma Mia because we did just recently watch this movie, Nikki for the first time, me for, I don't know, the second time or more than that, I'm not sure. I watched it in theaters when it came out. But... We would definitely do that. Though Nikki would be Meryl Streep, obviously. I would be the tall one. We would get our friend Erin to be the short one. And we would cosplay Mamma Mia. All three of the women. Not the girls, the women. Meryl Streep and her friends. Mm. No, save yourself. Banana fish is dark and has sensitive topics. I actually think we would really like Banana Fish. We're not against dark and sensitive topics. Um, some people might think this because of Nikki's reaction to Beastars, which is different. Nikki just is uncomfortable with anthropomorphic um, animals, not the dark and sensitive topics. We really love, um, what's it called? Devil Man Crybaby. We're gonna cosplay it together. So we're all about the dark and sensitive topics. It just depends on the characters. Mm. Jesus Christ, I'm so tired and regret nothing. I'm sorry guys, it's so late. It's almost midnight here for us. I think at midnight we're gonna end this stream, so just in a few minutes, but we love you all. Can you cosplay Inuyasha, please? Nikki actually does cosplay Inuyasha, and I'm planning on doing a Shomaru cosplay or a, um, the evil guy. Can't remember it right now. Naraku! I'm planning on doing Shomaru and Naraku. That's it, the Red Bull is gone, guys. Two minutes to go. It's almost six in the morning, oh my god. Jesus. Well, guys, uh, we can start saying goodbye, because it's two minutes from now. I love you all. Biggie also loves you all. Aaron meets Kacha, that's hilarious. Deku's out doing things, taking care of the dogs right now. Eventually, uh, every now and then we have to go out and take care of the dogs and or ourselves. So, Sashomaru, please, he's my fave. I do love Sashomaru. I am gonna cosplay Sashomaru, but I also want to cosplay um, Naraku because he's super cool. We do want to do a future diary cosplay eventually. That would be super fun. The Red Bull was saving you guys. I'm sorry guys, it's just gone now. I'm gonna be up forever because I had Red Bull, but... No, that's literally the last drop. Yes, it's almost midnight there. We're only one minute away from midnight. So, I'm sorry guys, we can't stream forever. If I'm up all night, I could stream again. Is an option. It's almost midnight for us. It's 11.59. 1 a.m. here. Yes. So, we love you guys. If you guys want to catch up with us on other things, we do have Instagrams and Twitches and Patreons and Twitters and 
YouTube's, all that stuff. My Miss Spotty. Mickey's is Mishkali, but you know that because you're here. All of our other stuff is under the same username. If you look for us, you'll find us. Oh, TikTok as well. So if you want to see some more stuff, that's where we are. And we post on random things randomly throughout random times. Hopefully we'll be streaming some more. We'll be streaming tomorrow at 8 p.m. We're going to be streaming Edward and Bella, reading some more fan fictions. And throughout the weeks, we kind of stream randomly if we want to on like Instagram or TikTok or something. So if you have the notifications on for that, eventually you'll get a notification if we decide to stream. Just depends. Um, thank you guys all so much for being here for this random live stream. Very chaotic. Very random. Thank you all for tagging us and things while you were here. We love you all. I know it's rough right now, but everything it will get better, hopefully. Hopefully, eventually. It's just hard right now for everybody. So, I know how it is. I'm sorry. Guys, I hope that we entertained you at least for a little bit while you were here, because that's what our purpose is. That's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to give you something to laugh with while you're here. We're trying to entertain you guys. So welcome. You know, thank you for joining us for this live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry if you just joined, because we're getting off now, because it's midnight. If we do any more streaming tonight, it will probably just be me not being able to sleep because I just had Red Bull. And oops. But I love you guys all so much. Good night, good night, good night. Stay safe, wash your hands, stay inside, all that good stuff. Be responsible if you have to go work. Thank you so much for being uh, an employee that needs to help move things in the United States and keep things going, or anywhere for that matter. If you guys are still working, if you're working at home, good luck with working at home. And I love you all so much. Thank you guys. See you guys tomorrow on the stream, 8 p.m., same place, this YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys then. Bye.